Okay, give me the parts of the home. You. The, parts of the home, yes. Uh, oh, okay, there's floor. The floor, not what I'm looking the, okay, for. Yeah, you, yeah, over no. there. Uh, I, uh, uh, doors. No, I'm not uh, looking for doors. Uh, you know, fuck you. Uh, you uh, leave. The windows, uh, windows. No, windows. I know. Roof. We're talking roof. Oh, uh, yeah. Most important part. Yeah, it is uh, the most important part uh, of your home. And secured roofing and restoration. They want us to tell you that they are tired of crappy roofers and people doing it wrong. Yeah. And people making the roofing business look bad. Secured, um, the reason they were started was to sort of clean up the whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the owner on Weird Job Wednesday talking about that. He saw how bad other roofing companies and their scam artists out there... And he didn't want to use them, and he's like, well, I'll just create it. And that's why you need to get a hold of our friends at SecuredRoofingAndRestoration.com. They're running a promotion right now for Tom and Dan listeners only. Uh, Just make sure you tell them you're a Tom and Dan listener, because you're going to get up to a $500 credit with every full roof replacement. So, and how it works, like, even if you use your insurance to replace your roof, they'll give you that credit in like a Visa gift card. Sure. So it's up to 500 bucks, and you could also use that uh, for gutters uh, if you want. And uh, Just get an estimate. I mean, have them out there. You yeah, know? and that's the greatest part of a secured roofing restoration. If you go on their website, you could just fill out the form on the front of their website for a free estimate. And it's all their guys. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. These they are put all, on the roof. Yeah, yeah, these are all their employees. They're, they're, they're yeah. not subcontracting this out. These are their guys. And we got multiple promotions. For instance, if you fill out that free estimate and yep. you get a free estimate from Secured Roofing, we're going to send you a gift, a yeah. hat. You get a brand new Tom yeah. and Dan hat, one of the ones from Dome. It's a premium hat. Then if you get a full roof replacement, you get that up to $500 credit from them yes. and let us know. And, and we, we give send you something you, else. We yeah. send you a huge gift bag, uh, a full Oh, we got the merch. margin, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. then so you're going to get a lot. And and here, get the free estimate and see you. Shop around. They just, are a great company. Look, we're just trying to make it work. And we know you want to make make it work. Just get the estimate, man. You have nothing to lose. They also offer 100% financing with 12 months deferred interest for those who qualify. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do uh, 24 hour to 48 hour tarping if you have any damage. Yeah, you uh, can call them and they will tidy it up so you don't yeah. have any more damage. The, uh, uh, touchless inspection. Uh, they do it all. It's securedroofingandrestoration.com. Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello, this is your Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Yep. Stomp crazy yeah. up there. Oh, what? <laughs> Why? What? I have a stomp crazy. Oh, are they up there stomping? Oh, yeah. oh, there, you know. Uh, Is it the. We had the are leak. we going to talk about that? The leak? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and the, the, I mean, there are um, some. <laughs> oh, my Travis. Uh, hey, welcome to the show. It's a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha Butler, our good friend Seth Petrozelli on news. It is a brand new year, 2021. Wow. We're going to do our, our goddamnedest to distract you today. What? And fr- from, from, I know. From what? How shitty life is from what? No, it ain't shitty. We're oh. going to make it better today. Uh, I'm a, I'm Look, a, if, if, today. if Mr. Negative Daniel Dennis can be in a positive mood, we're going to have some fucking fun today, guys. Yep. Let's so, do it. Uh, wow, give me, Tom's give me an on, hour. on we're team gonna, fun today? We're going to start by pulling our dicks out. Yeah. On Friday? So we had a mystery leak in the office this week. Yeah. Well, 
Uh, look, and I like I I'm like, the, the mm, leak detective. You here. are. Yeah. You are. Well, yeah, it started with Samantha when the, yeah. the first day back, which was Monday of our break. Uh, you know, we basically took almost a two week break uh, at the end of the year. And um, I don't know. Uh, thank you to everybody that uh, thanked us for the award show. Uh, thank you, Samantha, mm-hmm. and everybody that. Thank uh, you for thanking us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it, I think it came out good. I'm yeah. glad people liked it. I got a lot of email about it. People liked it. The only complaint I got was uh, either too short or too many songs. But other than that, mm. really zero. I mean, everybody, you know, we, we worked I, really hard on that. So, I, and, it, and I think it showed. Yeah. And I think we'll do it every year now. And it'll be a lot easier because now we're cognizant of like, oh, you know, put yeah, that in a war show. Finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm sitting there. I Was this after? OK, I'll, well, I'll... I don't even know. Th- I had gone what? home for lunch. Mm-hmm. So I went home to see. Well, let's start with Monday when I walked in and yeah. it stunk yeah, yeah. like hell in here. It you did. Know, it I, stunk I really bad in here. I don't know if anybody's interested, but uh, like our schedule, basically, we it's be kind of it's now really cemented into like T and D Media, where yeah. we have we've we've had it for about. Yeah. Two years now, or well, a year and a half. I was, I want to say, like Samantha's maybe, been maybe really with it. well done about a year. I, I'd yeah, say, yeah. but um, now we've we have such a fucked out system that we are what we hated in radio. <laughs> oh, we, yeah. we just show <laughs> up and you're like, God damn this fucking <laughs> motherfucker! And he's this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah. fucking <laughs> sleeveless fat fuck <laughs> yeah, and his fucking shit. I, I usually have a no fun plot policy yeah. at work. Or yeah. no, everybody's we come in quiet. Here and it's quiet. And I turn my music off because I don't want him to know I'm having fun. I was in here listening to Ska this morning. I'm skanking to the beat. And he walks in and he's like, yo. And I got to turn my music off. And then, he, then all you hear is. You guys should all have like, headphones in listening to your own thing. I brought my Sorry. Apple headphones here, but I thought he'd be. he Because well, normally he'll blow a bar off. And I'm like, what? what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we couldn't God do that. Damn, because you it, it would be like when I try to do the dishes with headphones in, and then I'm every time I put one in and say hit play on my podcast, <laughs> yeah. I, the, the crow starts crowing. Yeah. No, Andrea and then I'm like, what? It. And then I have to I take my phone out, push pause, and then I and then I take my earbud out, and she's like, never mind. You obviously like listening to those podcasts more than talking to me. <laughs> yeah, and then, oh, yeah. and, and yeah, then you I you understand. And then I don't play my podcast for a while, shamed <laughs> in <the> silence. <laughs> and no, then I get mad. The, and I'm like, do you put the ears in? Huh? Do you put the ears in too, or do you leave them out? No, I leave them out no, to no, show no, her. No, no, but then no. I'm in silence. But if she's like, not talking, you should yes. well. <laughs> yes. You as you were saying. So then yeah. I say, well, why am I doing these dishes in silence? This is miserable. I just want to listen it, to my podcast. Is huh? this at night? Like after, like yeah, yeah. There's most of it. Is there music playing at night? Like I have my hey Google playing. Yeah, we play like, music everywhere. Yeah, yeah. like well, I'm well, eating, well, there's like fancy music playing. You, these, I mean, you're gonna. Well, I like to feel regal. Hey, real talk, real talk. What Seth? When you get in a real mature relationship. I'm just saying when, like, you know, it's like you know, a real yeah. long term. Yeah. Not all of us have a girlfriend who yeah. loves BTS. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we yeah. get we're you, bopping around. You, you, I love BTS too. I was so embarrassed the other day. I did something bad in front of her. Uh, uh, well, they, uh, I'm eating my own <laughs> shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that. But I'm saying uh, you, uh, <laughs> you just learn no, to settle into was, like, hey, we're roommates. We're gonna listen to our own. No, stuff. but like real talk, you're gonna have to start clarifying, man, huh? because this whole. Okay, I know that your wife can take a licking and keep on ticking, just like you. Uh-huh. And I know the mo of the show is: here comes Tom with another tall tale, and let's tell it and blow holes in it. Ha ha ha! It's so funny. Mm-hmm. But this whole crow shit's out of control, man. Why? This shit. I, the, the number of emails I get daily of people saying, "God damn, Tom's miserable." I got a voicemail before <laughs> we went on the program. I'm going to give you one from a what? drunk man. Okay. I got a voicemail from a drunk man, literally. That doesn't sound like one of our listeners. I know, I'm, but I have to play it because this guy, you know. I'm just telling you about the bad here, stuff. Just listen, listen. Hi, listen to the BDM show from this week. Awesome. I've called only a few times, but every time I call, it's the same thing. So, Lauren Butler is crazy. Back off, Tom Van. Of course, he's he has issues. That girl is. Caca, caca. <laughs> you know, I, like, uh, I like this man. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Shit. Call in. I say that lit- that is piping hot. That is fresh off the bat. Yeah, man. Like that man, man yeah. is going to his security guard job drunk off his ass. <laughs> he is literally <laughs> hammered. Oh, yeah, yeah. He his bullets are rolling at every stoplight. His bullets are rolling <laughs> to the floor, but he's picking him up and putting him into his gun. 
<laughs> That's what's happening. And that man, they, and you got to stop, man. You got to do something. You got to communicate. You're you gotta, painting a bad picture of your yeah, wife. You really oh, are. You no, gotta, you know I'm just telling you. Well, first is my side. Well, she you, told you. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, you guys know. Yeah, that's how miserable she is. She's going to deal with me right. uh, yeah. ten times worse. You, you're the opposite. Most people post all the great and wonderful things on mm-hmm. social media. You're the opposite. You just show all the negative. No, no. Really, you see my social lot. media. It looks no, like no. I have a wonderful oh, life. No, I, <laughs> no, okay. If you look at my Instagram, I'm not shooting you. I've been waiting to clown. You. So I'm building we, a life that's unbelievable. We hear all of these <laughs> stories, right? We hear all of these, and we hear like the crow, and the crow's yelling at me, take the earbud out. I scream. And the, the orb stuff. Yeah, the orb, the vein in the forehead. Oh, okay. By the way, I his finally wife, put it back in just so she can start talking to you. Right, well, his, his <laughs> wife will post things like, so you see all of this, and it's caca, caca, that guy, Lord, crying, caca, caca, he's drunk. And then his wife will post things like, Max says, uh, Max says, the only thing in the world that lasts forever is love. And then it's like a beautiful picture of the boys on the beach. But like, like he didn't really say that. Yeah, yeah he did. Kids don't say. Shit. Yeah, they, no, they do. Um, yeah, Max, they do. Yeah, he's like a sensitive. Ki- he's a sensitive but lad. Here's the but point. my point he is, is that they're it. sharing the lovely <laughs> things. They're it. sharing the glorious thing, and that's what I do. I don't share right. that I. I don't share that I whisper to my wife that my daughter's a fucking bitch. I don't share that <laughs> right. when uh, when she's like, I only want to hug mommy because daddy stinks. But by the way, uh, Samantha's half right. <laughs> I in got the off fact- the Peloton. Yeah, I stunk because oh, I'm trying to not be fat and live long so I can see you get married. Yeah, yeah. yeah bitch. You should understand that. You're half right with uh, he didn't really mean that because it's like when you see your dog and uh, he moves his head and you're like, look, he's curious about what right. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm in a Facebook group that's so literally kid- called That Child Didn't Say That. Yeah, they- all these parents post ridiculous shit that well, kids but- say. This like philosophical shit. Like, but they, no. they did say it, but they didn't mean it. They don't you even know what they're saying. Yeah, they exactly. said something yeah, that yeah, they yeah. meant that. I just <laughs> wish yeah, I no. just wish Maisie would say something philosophical yeah. this week, and I put it in her group chat. She did say this. Andrea back me up. She says, ah, I think I see some hair on my vagina. No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she said that? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, you want to know the other one I got? We're oh, playing cool. I Spy. I was going to save this for later. We're playing I Spy. You'll, well, actually, you'll love this. This is why you, she'll need to join your dojo. Yeah. We're playing I Spy in the house, and Maisie goes, I spy with my little eye something brown. Oh, no. Nice. And Andrea is like, okay, <laughs> uh, 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 living room table? No. Mm. Uh, dining room table? No. Uh, Maggie the dog, your favorite dog? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> A fart. That was what she uh, farted awesome. right on her mom. <laughs> right on her leg. Oh, right. She farted on her? Yeah, and then said, mm. A Your fart. Daughter. And then laughed and laughed. Mm. She is a, uh, she's I like her. chip oh. off the old block. Yeah, <laughs> so, she's going to join the dojo. <laughs> so I forgot about the leak. So Samantha comes in Monday and she's like, It, it smells stinks. like a wet dog in yeah, here. It smells like a wet dog. I couldn't smell it. Then Tom thought it was oh, a sandal. COVID. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah then you were yeah, 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 like, We all can't smell it. And he made me sniff his sandals. No, I didn't know. You definitely have COVID now. It's just no. So he gets off on that. Was he jacking it while he did that? I took off my sandal and smelled it. Then I made Travis smell it. Then you ran around the room, <laughs> yeah. and then you were like, I'll call Diamond, and you put him outside? And then we're like, we can't smell anything. And then I can't s- believe the butler didn't smell it, because he smells everything. everything yeah. yeah. So so then, I'm was sorry. it the next? you smell now? Well, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't but smell 14 it days ago. You know, before I come, every single time I get anxiety before I walk in here, like, this is going to be the day I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. I mean, sure. It's been a long time. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't. Yeah. I know. Because we've had, I've had it twice. <laughs> and I had, the, I had the one, and then I had the <laughs> mutagen. Oh, I had the close. one that mutated. Half our Da Daichi has it right now. We, I think Daichi has it right now, but he hasn't been around me. Who's so. that? My the His person friend. lives in my mother mother in law yeah. suite. Back. Oh, 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 the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have anxiety about you. Dude. It's your house. Yeah, why? Well, it's not in my house. It's a, it's a separate unit behind. Yeah, me. but it's uh, the windows. He can be coughing across your pool. I, sure I, I have kept my sliders closed, honestly, <laughs> so he doesn't walk walk in. <laughs> So anyway, COVID. Samantha's like it stinks in here. Smells like mildew. We're like, there must be mildew in the atmosphere. Then we blend the fish tank. We're like, I think it's a fish tank. Yeah, <laughs> we, we blame everything on the fish tank. That thing does stink. You know, that thing will stink. Mine used to stink. Yeah, yeah. ours yeah. ran dry. A I don't know, there's nothing the in there, so I don't oh think it can God. stink. 
So well, everything's dead. <laughs> so then, like two days later, uh, me and Butler are sitting. It was during lunch. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were sitting there during lunch, and Butler's talking my ear off about uh, some <laughs> some cockamamie <laughs> thing, or telling me about Star Wars because now he knows my sons are interested. Yeah. They just never stop yeah, talking. I can about make Star Wars. you some mini helmets if you want to. I can put yeah. a nice patina. <laughs> you know, on yeah, that's what he's saying. <laughs> he's like, they're about this big. A uh, one twenty. I, yeah, I mean, look, you uh, don't want to buy the big please. ones if you don't know how into they're going to be. I mean, what do they want to be? True Mandalore? Maybe that somebody had gifted them the armor because they had earned it in combat. And I'm eating my stinky, miserable <laughs> lunch that I eat every day. I hate, <laughs> and it stinks too. Yeah, yeah. It adds to the stink of the office. And, and Butler's like, "What's that?" And I'm like, "What?" Now <laughs> he's got sonic hearing because I'm always, <laughs> I'm always <laughs> yeah. waiting. <laughs> Transfer to you. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm at uh, uh, lunch with my wife, and she's, you know, I don't know, telling me something yeah. about how she found a wet pair of boxers. Oh, she got in the, shit on by your dog. No, and, she found a wet pair of boxers in the. The, the what do you call it? The huh? dirty mm-hmm. hamper. But what, but why? why were they what? Because, from your training, right? Because I was taking care of stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why were they? Oh. Hold on, well, I actually don't know what you mean. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. But there's that. They're wet. Well, they, they were the closest thing. They're fresh, wet. <laughs> yeah, but how wet were they? I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, what are you, Johnny Carson joke? <laughs> how <laughs> wet were they? <laughs> it's a tiny dot of wet. Or <laughs> we got fucking so milk and pearl over here. He's yeah. gonna dress up like a woman, big fat dog. Anyway, Butler's like, uh, "What's that?" And I'm like, "What? They're gonna come and kill us!" And then, uh, and then he's like, "I hear something." Yeah, it's like, he's like, "Be quiet!" And then we're hearing like. And then we're like, what the hell is that? So we go up to the wall. It's a bomb! Yeah. <laughs> and and it's we, me trapped behind the wall. I'm like, and, and, and they're like, <laughs> it sounds like something's dripping behind the wall. Because you could, there's My no God, way. God, it's the corpse of Daniel White! <laughs> 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 she exploded his shit. Oh my God! It's horrible! <laughs> Oh my the smell. god! The time the Andrew came. Like goddamn pizza! It was Daniel dressed as Andrew the whole time. <laughs> so, and then, it's, then a flashback. It's like uh, the usual suspect. I <laughs> see you. Know. Anyway, so uh, who blamed? No, I just turned. You just turned it. Uh, I coughed into my arm and oh, oh, this, this the guy. Day. Oh man, this guy. He has to Ooh. turn toward me. So uh, then, then Butler's like, I think it's hitting the outlet box behind the wall. And, <laughs> and then sure I enough, swear, it, you can hear it. I, I swear mean, to God, he's like, I think it's hitting. And I'm like, oh shit, that ain't good. And then he reaches slowly <laughs> yeah. to touch it, and it was slow. And I didn't tell him to stop. And I was like, watching him do it. He's like, Yeah, I got it. <laughs> and that's when I walked in. And I'm then, like, What the hell is going on? And then, yeah, then Samantha, he's like, Hey. Watch this! I get electrocuted. <laughs> and then I kicked his hand. I'm like, "Don't touch it again, you idiot!" Jesus Christ! And, and then I'm like, "Let's see if we can look in the and drop." That was his job interview. No, yeah. but, no. Then I saw the carpet was completely saturated on the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my under fault. the printer. I'm smelling mold. Yeah, that's my yeah, fault. Yeah. So I, I was under the printer every day. <laughs> I tried. Well, when we first got here, Tom put my pee pee pads under there, and I just it's a habit. <laughs> I guess so. Then we were like, "Oh shit!" Like something's dripping behind the walls. Like, and so the drip stopped, and we then concluded that it must be coming from the upstairs yeah. neighbors. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it's got to be coming from up. <laughs> <laughs> God, God damn it! God, we're, we're sad day in you know, you know, I, 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 I'm going to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah. When when you have a <laughs> when you have a Chief Meat had caught me that bad. You deserve the shit out of it. Uh, well done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well done. And uh, so then we send Butler up there to the neighbors to talk to them. He has some sort of uh, weird well, You know what was weird? They is, forced is, him to come inside, right? Yeah, what's yeah. weird is that like, Butler, come back up and as a chopper, shut the door. it was making me uncomfortable. I would have done it, and I think anybody here would have done it, but I don't think no. anybody here wanted to do it, right? No, I'm, I'm not. not inside you send the minions else. to do that. I would do it, but you know, Butler was like would never excitedly, do it. seemingly oh, excited, excited to well, do it. He gets to chop it up. So yeah, he was, 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 he was so collecting so all his data. He's like, okay, it's dripping from here. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. he was doing like all of his like, okay, so, got this. Okay, got it, boss. And then he takes off. Yeah, like, then, fast. What, then she called you in and then you she took you to the bathroom, right? Yeah, she tried to take it. Yeah. yeah. She, she I've, seen this. This. I've seen this. And the language, there's a language barrier yeah. a little bit. Yes. It's mm. usually as Lisa Ann in it, though. No. Because okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. if you listen to the BDM, show, there's the same lady that I had an awkward confrontation about the mail. And it's also culturally, they don't ever ask us to do anything. It's more of a tell. <laughs> You know, right. like yeah. when I met with her, but I don't think she means it. Yeah, I don't want to do the accent. I mean, I will if I have to, do but I don't want to do the accent because when I met it's her, she was like, uh, "You get 
packages. You put packages inside. We're not here. <laughs> oh, See, it doesn't sound as good when I do it like that. <laughs> like, you had a little accent in there at the end. Uh, I, saw, no, I, slipped in it. I slipped in there. I saw Seth's two fingers move towards his face. <laughs> you wanted, you wanted to do it. So she called you in the yeah, bathroom. She was stern. She was like, get in. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And so I, uh, then she uh, hustled me upstairs, and I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Went into the bathroom, and uh, all loose tiles, by the way. <laughs> not, not a big well, That's yeah. weird. So not weird. A that's, how, that's how I run mine. I like them to float. <laughs> Just <laughs> tiles. Floating tiles. Freedom, yeah. freedom for right. tiles. You're stepping up. Like, <laughs> Wait, they're not. They're not. They weren't grouted in. Grouted. No, no. grouted. But are they? Okay. No, weird. That's this is a, this is a nice. All of have like the T's. You know when you set when you're when you're tiling, you put like the little T's. Yeah. 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 Keep the shape. Yeah, like that. Hey, uh, here's but without the T's. Without the T's. <laughs> That's All right. weird. So you know, the, those T's, every time I see somebody tiling, this, uh, uh-huh. uh, this is why I'm stupid. Every time I see somebody tiling and I look at the tile and they have the T's in there, I go, those are those things that keep the pizza box from touching the T's. <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time. Uh, and I'll do it until I die. And then she told you that, like. Well, she was like, I, I just took the, the, the baby just got it. out of the bath. <laughs> yeah. she, baby just got out of the bath and uh, that could be the problem. I was like, well, yeah, obviously. She was like, yeah, the, the bath overflowed. And I was like, what do you mean? Oh, I was yeah. like, yeah. why is your baby overflowing the bath? Well, she was trying to kill it, yeah. Butler. Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, no, it's, a, oh, it's the top drain, because it happened at my house, too, the little top drain part. My niece used to, my niece, my niece used to take baths, and it's, she, her bath is right above my kitchen. And it's that little so drain that little at the drain very at the top. Very top. Yeah. So you should sit in it, and some would spill over it, and I guess it would. Uh, it wasn't sealed all the way. It would drip. It would it, big drip marks in my ceiling. I, I would hang know. my G.I. Joe's hands from there, because mm-hmm. there was like a little area for the water to go in, so it wouldn't oh, yeah, overflow. So it would, yeah. And, and there, there was a hole, so I would hang my G.I. Joe's from there like it was like a... Crevasse yeah, like or like a, it's a something, like you know? a Katie's old yeah, like a thing. Yeah, I remember playing on that when I was a kid. So we had to call Emerald Plumbing, and they yeah. took care of it. Uh, shout out to Emerald Plumbing. Well, they didn't take care of it the first time. They came, and then the lady was <laughs> she like, was well, mad "My kids are napping. You're not going to do anything now." I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah let's well, just let your whole fucking house flood." <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay, it's the beginning of the year, and I feel like the majority of people have some sort of. Not really resolution, but at least some sort a of goal? A, a goal or idea or like uh, the, how they're going to change moving forward. And I don't know why or who started. I guess it's just like uh, next year is like a, it makes beginnings. sense. New beginning start, you know, because I don't know. It must have been going on for forever through humanity or whatever. But even though I realize like most people like set these goals and then stop doing it. Yeah. It, it, it uh, fades out or whatever. I even do it every year too. Like I think everybody does where they're like, all right, I'm doing this. And my whole thing was like, start a, it's like wake up early every day. You've been doing a good job, I think. No, it's, oh. it's already started to fade. Oh, <laughs> I know, yeah. it's a Friday. Fair enough. I was going to pay you a compliment. And, you, Monday or Tuesday, uh, yeah, excuse yeah. me, Monday and Tuesday were good. Daniel, uh, uh, you uh, stopped drinking. I did. Right? Uh, for, I'm going to do the do shot for the show, but I haven't been drinking, so. Yeah, do, yeah. Shot, like, do a shot of water with me. Don't ruin it. No, it's not going to ruin it. It's just a shot. I want to see what it feels like after eight days of sobriety. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Eight days. Good. Oh, yeah. Uh, Why, is it going to feel good? No, oh, yeah. no. This is not a long time. I just yeah, go yeah. months. No, time. no, no. But I can, yeah, I can do yeah. months. Last time I did, I think last time I did four. Samantha, I, five. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's have you kind of had a, any resolution? You haven't mentioned it, right? No, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. do that. Okay, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Right. See, I like that because it's uh, because everybody inevitably has all the and, and the worst part is when they like EJ. We were clowning them with they last year when they, well, they tell you it, about it's unattainable. it. Unattainable. Yeah, yeah. And because if you start announcing it, then everybody knows you failed. Well, like what EJ was talking about, he was going to do like. A hundred push-ups, a hundred sit-ups, and a hundred pull-ups every single day. <laughs> that takes a very... I mean, that's at least... At the fastest guy, you're a workout man. I would say Joe fastest. That's at least an hour of if you're going to do them right with uh, good form and drinking water and right? 100 push-ups like a somebody in shape can. No, I'm talking about a blabo. I'm talking about like oh, if he's really taking say, the yeah. sign, it's going to take like, him a very long time to do that. 45 minutes it should take about. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. So um, basically, but the pull-ups are the hard part. I, I, the pull-ups are I, brutal. I, I want to talk about this because if it's we were doing the same thing every year, I, sh- I was like, I'm going to wake up every day. Uh, in my mind, I. I was like, I need to focus on discipline. If I get myself more disciplined, my whole life I've been undisciplined. Oh, you got a you got a discipline uh, master yeah, yeah, yeah. right That's in front of you. That's yeah. my motto. Yeah, yeah. and I have a, some questions for you about this. And uh, then I thought to myself because I want to go to sleep early, get more sleep, and then drink less, and that kind of thing. You yeah. know, that, oh yeah, it's I hard. Can help you with that. But but then I 
I thought to myself, if I set a goal of w- just set my alarm 6 a.m. every morning and then just get out of bed, force myself, start the day, then everything else should be, you know, I'll, I'll be more tired to go to sleep earlier. You know, I was hoping that that would be the one thing that I was going to do. So anyway, I uh, first on Friday, obviously, uh, after New Year's, like New Year's first, I was like, well, I'll start on Monday. This weekend doesn't really count. Right. Like, you know what I'm right. Then on Monday. It would have needed to end on Sunday, and then the first day of the year be Monday for it to actually count. And then I was gamble crazy, too many White Claw, and then that night I was like, let's start at 6.30. Don't be crazy. Like, it was just, yeah, you know, like yeah, start yeah, at yeah. 6.30. Then I did 6.30 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then Thursday, I, uh, I, I slept in a little bit. I forgot to, yeah. uh, you know. I put my phone on charge in a different room. Like a 645. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then this morning, I'm jumping out of bed screaming, no time for a breakfast, uh, get you to school, I'm panicking, it's back to my old ways. <laughs> yeah. So it took five days, I failed already. Um, and so I want to talk about willpower okay. and discipline because I, the, I started thinking about it, I was like, why is this so hard? Because all I had to do was just wake up when my alarm went off. And then it's, I think it's like this for everybody. It's like if you're on a diet, it's like all I have to do is not eat poorly. So easy. Just don't do something. That's what you, you know, and then yeah. people start off strong and then they uh, fade off and stuff. And then it's like all I have to do is exercise every day or all I have to do is read a book every month or whatever your goal is. But it's so hard to force yourself to do it. Yeah. And it and then that comes with like willpower. But to me, I'm, and then I started like, well, how do I increase my willpower? Right. Because I think you have a finite amount. Well, or that it's ingrained, and this is my theory too, because I started thinking, I was yeah, like, there's well, some genetic possibilities with Is it? Sure. Because, like, if you said someone, how do you get bigger muscles, right? You just lift something every day and increase the weight. If you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's pretty, like, straightforward, right? I mean, everybody knows how to get bigger muscles, right? You lift and then you increase the weight. And you do steroids. And you, or whatever yeah. it is. You, you just, pump them up. You just lift heavy things every day. And, and then you take, uh, what, wind straw? But how and- do you. Bicep what, implants. What, so, what else? Yeah, yeah, bi- yeah. So you got to dehydrate yourself to look more cut, right? <laughs> How do you increase your willpower? Well, the is, problem the problem with this is to increase your willpower, you have to do things physically that'll help you get mentally strong, obviously, which is what the willpower is. Uh-huh. One of those things is to get more sleep. <laughs> so, well, okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right. His first, well, his first goal's wrong already. It shouldn't be getting up early. It should be going to bed early. Because yeah. then you will uh-huh. be able oh, to get up early. Go, what time do you go to Doesn't bed? Doesn't matter, like midnight, one a.m. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, he's going to bed at like one, and then well, wants to get up one. at six thirty. And right. I think right. that's late. Fuck that. Huh? Well, I figured that's got to be reasonable. Dude. Yeah, I, it's be reasonable. yeah. Is ten thirty unreasonable to you? Is that a baby? That's baby, right? That is right? baby, baby. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. But see, you just have to hold yourself accountable. Yeah, I go to bed at ten thirty. I think that's normal. Whip yourself when you. Yeah, I'm eating dinner. Wake up. I'm asleep at nine. Yeah. But Seth, yeah, I mean, I, you're think, describing... I think most people go to bed around that time. I don't think most people go to bed at like midnight. So this is my problem, though. All like people like Seth and motivational speakers and people that are like uh, driven and and uh, work out like this. Yeah. They always tell you these things like you got to hold yourself accountable. You got to do you do no, these no. things. But I'm just like, but you need willpower to do any okay. of this to begin with. But and I'm like, I my was willpower... too weak. Sorry, I don't mean yeah. over My my willpower comes from. Knowing that me disciplining every the way I eat, the way I don't drink, the way I'm, I'm holding myself uh, away from certain things that I know will be amazing and maybe have just a bite of cupcake. What's the big deal? Mm. I know the reward on that one day a week that I get to have it. You feel that much more excited and better about it, like that, you earned that, it. Like I, earned, oh yeah, like I if just you went do through, a trial. like I went through a trial and right. a tribulation, something very hard, and then I fucking earned that thing. Like that's like my reward. Okay, and it's like such that feeling is such a good feeling. Other than just you can have it. Oh, you can eat a cupcake every day. I can eat a cupcake every day. Great, but that one day on Sunday when I get to eat it. Oh my God! It's yeah, like, it's it's ten times better than the cupcake on each one of those. And days. you need, but there, you also so don't need because what you're talking about mm. is in in a weird way you're going to need to be, and I don't think you are. And, I, and I'm sorry if I'm getting a little deep here, but yeah, yeah. you're going to need to be a little selfish to accomplish what you want to do, mm. and you're not. Uh huh. And what I mean by that is within your family unit. You would do anything for every member of your family before you would ever do anything for you. Uh huh. So I don't feel like. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if you yeah, wanted to no, get up at 6.30 and accomplish things, if anybody else in your structure 
if they needed something that is going to kind of diminish or, or, or keep you from accomplishing that 6.30 wake-up time or 10.30 yeah, yeah, go-to-bed yeah, 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 time, yeah, yeah. then you're going to defer to that. So I think you're always going to kind of fail until you yeah. just say, okay, this means a lot and to me, and I want to do this, and, and you got to... Boundary, you got to throw those well, boundaries. Is, I mean, that's, your, that's what your goal should be. Yeah, is creating boundary. boundaries. Yeah, <laughs> boundaries. But you yeah. need that. Break through the boundaries. boundaries. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing to break through. There's nothing to break through. Boundaries, two things I don't disagree with. <laughs> but, the, but to strengthen your mind, like to strengthen your mind, you actually need uh, the things that you do to strengthen your body too. So you need proper nutrition, proper exercise. All those things feed your brain and the chemicals in but, your brain. But, it makes it better, easier for you to accomplish it's, whatever it's you're like trying a, to accomplish. But but then it's it's like almost counterintuitive because like to get a, a better right. diet, better exercise, you need the willpower. Right. Then, oh, well, and then a little the, bit at first, so and then you build on. Can it. Can you do some sort of small exercises and build your willpower strength? Yes. Like, is that possible? Ed- edging. Hi, listen. <laughs> oh man. Edging. Uh, okay, edging. Yeah. Okay, now explain uh, what, to God. me what edging is. You don't know what edging is? Uh, you know, we talked about this, I think. You get to the point That's of almost you climax. That's edge your you, uh, mustache <laughs> down a tiny, tiny, like tiny. Like a gable. Yeah, yeah. like a gable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the, you do the sides. Yeah, and, and then you uh, do a tiny little, and then it's a baby chin strap. It's, only, it's almost uh, like somebody drew the beard on so, a girl for like Halloween. So you're telling me <laughs> that if, um, like, okay, and then other listeners out there that I are thinking this is. Do <laughs> just, just fucking talk no, but okay. I'm just saying there's, that's something you can do to like. <laughs> Almost at that reward and then pull back. From yeah, but I do Make that a lot, and then I get to a point where I'm like, oh my god, I've edged too much. I can't fucking come <laughs> yeah, 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 And then yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I've ruined. Oh, my balls are exploding <laughs> because I'm, because I'm <laughs> god. You just have to want it more no. than you don't want it. Oh, Anything I want in it. life, and if you want to get up that early, you'll fucking do it. And you'll make yourself do it. Like I want to. Yeah, but I want to live till I'm 100. I'm going to train every single day. Is it that like, you well, have this genetic trait that makes it easier for you than other people? Because that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm a like, badass. No, well, seriously. <laughs> like, you know, if you, like, like all of a sudden uh, you see this guy be able to do math in his head, crazy complicated equations or count the toothpicks or whatever, like he knows all the numbers. Yeah. And, like, you can't teach someone how to do that. It just knows that his brain sure. works differently. For sure, it's wired differently. For sure, So yes. are you that and people that are able to do this brains wired differently than us normos that have so hard, like, I've... It's hard for me to have the willpower to do these things you're talking about. Yes, but there's there's a biological part to that, but then there's also a social part to that of how you were brought up. And, right, and so, he had so, no boundaries and no discipline, yeah, which see, is why had, he doesn't have it now, which I is why his kids don't have it. When I was six years old, I was like in like a traditional Japanese karate where it was like super disciplined. I got a shinai to my leg if I didn't like behave, if I got a bad thing on my report card. Yeah, it was like hardcore. Mm-hmm. So like from that childhood that was ingrained in my head playing sports all my life being disciplined because i know if i bust my ass today in practice we're going to win the game or i'm going to win the match in wrestling all right. so literally it's a it's a social thing too of how you were brought up from a little kid and how your brain was wired f- from a kid now on the other side of it is if you have it too much then do you become obsessed yeah. with discipline? Oh, yeah, I'm and OCD. I'm and then, then, and then, if I don't do good, I'm And then, and then it goes what's too the, far the other way, and then now... Oh, I'm definitely on What's the scared. longest you've gone without so, working out? Oh, uh, 24 hours. Seriously. Jesus. No, in, the I, past, I, I, in, the past, in the past 15 years? No, that's what I mean. I, I just wanted to get that out there so, so people it, they know the level detriment. of discipline he has. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, then, if I go more than it, and it's, it hasn't even been a day lately in the past year, for sure. Right. But, but in 10, 15 years? And then now is it a actual de- detriment to you and your happiness? I don't know. I'm happiness. going to the heart doc next week to see. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what would be wrong with your heart? I'm fucking freaking. <laughs> I'm getting an upper endoscopy Tuesday. The yeah. following week, I'm having my uh, a heart what? doctor uh, possibly... Uh, uh, an yeah. echo of my heart. Oh my god! Uh, I right. got blood don't work don't say, "Oh my god!" It's fine. He's fine. This is part of his uh, hypergonadism. I know, but even, this I, is a even I don't do this. <laughs> do uh, I, so I know. To see a different I have all degree, my schedules in there. To see yeah. a, a varying degree of it. Yeah, yeah, I, look, yeah. I would never make light of it either because I know how that shit feels. Uh, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I, I'll, that's like, I'll make light. I'm <laughs> happy that I'm not that bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, it, that's okay it, to say, it, right? It, yeah, that's fine. The, yeah, I, but I'm, I understand. I'm the worst, I know. I no, I understand <laughs> it. You know, I understand. <laughs> I know you do. Is this because especially if I get like if I get some, t- uh, you know, I can activate my own hypochondria now with sativa. 
Because sativa activates. Oh, don't tell me that. Because I just took a fucking half of the bowl for the first time. <laughs> sativa? Oh. Wait, before you do that, why did you do that? Do that? <laughs> You're going to have a freak out. Cancer. Shut up. Cancer. Don't say that. <laughs> 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 What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Something's <laughs> tripping on the outlet. <laughs> Butler's burning toast and wafting it in here. About 20 more. <laughs> no, I took, I took a, a hybrid. So that's my first time doing it. Oh, hybrids? Oh, 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 hybrids freak me out, man. Mm. Come on, don't say that. I fucking will get up and walk out of the <laughs> This is a hybrid I can't show on the camera. That's a hybrid right there. Okay, you're good. Mm, yeah. okay, but, so you're good yeah, too no, bad. I'm not on it yet. I do it at the end of the show just so when I'm editing, I'm like, I can't on it! <laughs> Well, I'm freaking out. Twenty minutes, you'll know. <laughs> we got uh, some shatter. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, tell me about Boy. that. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Pull your tits off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of that. Um, anyway, so I just wonder. Okay, I, I was thinking of like, or is there just? And uh, we'll be done with it. I, I promise. But a small something mentally you could do each day and increase it till you get to the point where let's you're create something uh, here mentally stronger. That way, you, because I don't think the majority of people and in it and. I think this only because, obviously, look at society. Like, most people can't have that level of discipline no. to achieve what they want to achieve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and, like, diet, exercise, all well, that stuff. Oh, yeah. We have a problem. And, and and I think it starts with just the willpower to do the things you need to do. Like, it's not a secret. Everybody knows how to lose weight and how to stay in shape yeah. and how to be healthier. It's like... It, the, but it's executing not a, it is... It's the, executing yeah. is the hardest part. Like, you can have it a million... absolute hardest part. ...good ideas, and the execution is the hard part. And I'm I just listened saying. to a psychologist uh, a long time ago, and he was very wise, and he said, take baby steps. Okay. You baby step. Like, how many drinks? Honestly, alcoholic drinks do you have a day? Three or four. Don't lie. Okay, no. Just say that. I'll, I'll, I'll be real with you. On New I Year's Eve. Don't know. I have yes. forget. I have not New Year's Eve. Just a normal, <laughs> a normal, a normal night. Eight drinks. <laughs> that too much. No, eight. I'm, I'm being honest. Oh, no. I'm not going to fucking Shut lie. Up. No. Eight, eight, eight drinks. drinks of what? Uh, it white, matters. White Claw 70. Okay. No, they're, 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 it they're doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. No, it does. Because I, if I say I've had okay, eight okay. drinks of whiskey, no, that's different. No, there's so, three percent. So or I can do uh, a six pack, maybe maybe eight cores. It's just the calories. I'm concerned about. <laughs> oh, eight eight, eight, eight cores lights. I think I can. Do. Okay, but say you have eight enough. No, that you could do. Okay, yeah. The baby step is instead of saying, "Oh, I'm not drinking it." No, zero drinks every night. Wean yourself. Go to seven drinks. Yeah, seven cores. No, at first. Fuck it up. And then you just you heard it here first. Seven course lights a night. <laughs> like for you, <laughs> maybe maybe set your alarm for like start instead of six thirty. You do oh, five six forty five. Tracy, then maybe okay. 640. See okay. Tracy, uh, uh, white so, call Tracy drank a twelve pack of white call yesterday. <laughs> By the way, God. Tracy, you weighed ninety six pounds. <laughs> yeah. There's no fucking way you drank a twelve. Well, she pack. started early. I guess yeah. If you started like nine in the morning, that's maybe, what I yeah. do. Oh, no, yeah. dude, white claws go down fast. Yeah, yeah but do. if you have a twelve, I, I can't I, drink a twelve pack. I had and I'll, I'll eight or ten white claws a night, and I feel like. Like shit, like the yeah. nigga. I mean, real bad. I can. That's drink. I peed the drawer. <laughs> you know, that, that, that That's the, the threshold. Eight uh, yeah, to yeah, ten. Yeah, yeah, normally, yeah. eight to ten. I pee the drawer. I don't pee the drawer, <laughs> but no, normally I do end up falling asleep w- when I haven't wiped my butt. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, 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 when it's cold. I gotta wipe it cold. And, stinky surprise. Yeah, I gotta wipe it cold. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll take a break. But that uh, that yeah. that this makes sense to me. Baby step. Start. I uh, should start five minutes. I should have given myself five minutes a week until I one percent. So, and for doing yeah, it. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. It is. That. <laughs> and he told us. Tom's asking, please help, please help, please help. Oh, do you know the kid with Down syndrome that just did an Iron Man? 1% better. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was only for him. But you got to also <laughs> reward yourself, Tom. That's you got to reward yourself. I, know. I was like, well, I, I, uh, okay, Hey, yeah. anyway, by 100% the, by better way, every day. Uh, Chris uh, Nickich, did you guys see his uh, oh, got documentary on Wesh? Oh, really? Oh, no. I watched nice. it. Yeah, really good. It was really good. I'm proud that we had him in here, man. That's really it. We're he, very lucky to have snagged that guy. Dude, he, got he and a, his dad are awesome people. He, he's going to do that Kona Iron Man, and that's a super high. Like, um, you my, have to be, you my have bro- to be only. You have yeah, to be yeah. invited. Yeah, my brother in law sure. was like, dude, this is a high uh, yeah. achievement and a super cool thing to be invited to, and like, uh, the, and to see him that he's going to do that too is is amazing. You know, yeah, it's super cool that he gets to do that. Uh, right, on a side note, give yourself a reward though for doing it after a little bit too. You have to have that reward system set up as yeah. well. All right. Something. My reward, five more minutes. Something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can. <laughs> shit. Once, once a week, give yourself <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes early. Oh, five minute reward. <laughs> no, I'm not oh. kidding. That's serious. Can I get one of those jackets? Uh, those well, karate you don't take jackets. Karate. 
Well, I want to impress my sons. Like, oh, oh wait, so you're going to walk in looking like Ar- Archie from Archie Comics? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Seth like has look. got a, uh, a Letterman's jacket from his right. dojo. And uh, can right, I... Is it one of those things where only members of your dojo uh, can wear it? Some, yeah, Butler, did Butler Daniels ask me that? Butler, I, Butler I wanted me. one, too. Yeah, you know? and it made me think, you know, I mean, do I want to have it exclusive for just my members, or do I want to Well, you can do, like, biker gangs. Makes more money. <laughs> <laughs> you can do biker gangs and do the jacket that says, like, uh, enthusiast or supporter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, and, you put supporter. Yeah, you yeah, put yeah, supporter. Yeah. And that's like, everybody knows, yeah, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, biker gangs, you see the guys are probate, you know? Oh, you're trying to get into yeah, the gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put probate. <laughs> Maybe I'll just give my guys the jacket with the patch to put on it, and everyone else I won't give the patch to. That because there's I have a karate patch that you can put on it to a couple. Yeah, that would be better. But I yeah. I can get the patch right. What are you gonna do? <laughs> no, you, you, gotta, no, you, you can't. That comes some punching. It comes from that's from J- let me Japan see, let me all see the way down. New <laughs> <Give me a laughs> kick. <laughs> you want to kick a board? I, can kick I don't know. Board. Give me a kick. Give me your highest kick. I'm the highest. Oh yeah, let's see how high you can kick. I mean, what kind of kick? Put your jeans. What kind of kick? Big Danish mega dong will fall out. Seth, how, do you, how do you kick. do that kick where you kick. can stand and then they so you do kick that, straight up? You, you kick, you're like, uh, like with three, knife. two, one. And yeah. 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 Like, clock. yeah, it's yeah, like, touch, 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 kick. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, tap kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the last one you try to do, like, totally, really o'clock. straight up. I would yeah, like I'll it if it was like, can you do a standing kick? Can I do a standing kick? Yeah, yeah, okay. As opposed to a sit down <laughs> kick? What do no, you no, mean? I mean, like, how? Like, okay, I'll try I'm not to oh, here we go. Yeah. Yes. I'm not going to do it. Here no, we I'm go. Ladies stretch. and gentlemen, Charlie Daniels, karate. <laughs> <laughs> Just and he's he's going to kick a fucking Don't hurt yourself. Oh, oh, he's, getting oh! Oh, he's getting naked, everybody. I saw a baby. Yeah. Thing. yeah. Did you see his abs? So what? He's, I saw a little baby fupa. <laughs> hey, no, he has that. He has that, like, tough man. Like, tough man chest? Yeah, he has the tough man chest. With the saggy bottom part of it. Nobody. He's getting ripped up top. It's, it's the old man. It's the old man. <laughs> it's it's the old old. man's skin <laughs> melting. <laughs> I'm an old man. What the fuck? It's the skin melting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not melting. Fat. The bottom oh, part. Yeah, the bottom melts. The bottom yeah, melts a little bit. Oh, I got mine. <laughs> mine is like mine. Yeah, there's look, no I, way around that. I am starting to look like a golden corral Wait, chocolate fountain. Did <laughs> like you just I, stand up and take a shirt off? Okay, why? Why would I stood up? It became obvious. Oh, we're gonna be able to fucking do a gig. Do an easy one. Do a front kick. I think I convinced myself. He stood up and got lightheaded. Has. Like Let's do a kickoff. Yeah. Let's see who can do, do the an, Do kick. an easy one, just a front kick. That's not kicking fair. A kickoff between a martial arts master <laughs> and Charlie Daniels. No, but everybody in the studio. I broke my toe last night. I can't kick. This. You don't have to kick anything. Just the air. So, what, no, what, I don't understand what how what kind of kick. Like a, what the? Oh, why are we big, doing this? What is the point of this? The, we just want to make fun of Tom. Do the Come on, Seth, no join Do the Hulk Hogan. Do the Hulk Hogan big boot. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> that's the front kick. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you keep talking to him, he will eventually yeah, he will, do it. He will. He's just that dumb. Oh, kicking Tom. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, yeah, don't, don't, sideways don't, kick. don't kick this water. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna kick towards my mic. Oh right. my god. Uh, don't. Do you have to stand off? Don't kick my head. Well, yeah, this way. <laughs> oh. he almost fell Wait, first of all, muscle. I heard something pop. Something, heard something, something, something pop. 100% popped. Something 100 popped in his ACL. Something goes. Are you we okay? heard him. We heard him. Why did you do that? I, I heard a snap. Was that the yeah, snap I, in the jeans, or was that a pop up. in your hand? The whole, <laughs> just, <laughs> the whole chat is like, "Oh shit, we heard that." Yeah. Like that. Yeah. You can hear that. Did you guys hear that? Did your knee pop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I used to. I'm gonna see if I can hear it on this. I don't want you to get hurt for real. Oh my god. I'm gonna hear it. Yeah, oh, you can hear it. You know what it sounds like? Knuckles cracking. <laughs> yeah, it, does. it sounds like someone's like, <laughs> I don't move my legs that much. <laughs> I don't move my legs. I don't lose my legs. my upper body where I need to go. I don't his, need anything his, else from His leg just got a Peloton <laughs> match for first kick ever. <laughs> That's the first time you've ever kicked. Uh, I don't, now we know why you can't who skip. kicks? No, no, no one kicks. <laughs> Unless kick. you're Seth, or yeah, or you're, I kicked him my you're last Seth night. or your karate. My last I mean, self defense on the street, I kicked just to show off, and he ran away because I, I did good kicks. <laughs> really? You did the three? I did. I kept doing high kicks in there. I'm like, come on, come on, come on. He's like, Ugh, and he walked away like, oh yeah, whatever. Oh the wall. So a homeless man came up to you, <laughs> yeah. and then you kicked him away. I was yeah. No, I was defending a homeless. This was my story when I was defending a homeless now, man. Oh, what happened? He then? hit a homeless guy in the head. With some books and the homeless guy got came up to me. He was dropping knowledge on him. <laughs> who's, who's, having, who's 
Who's got books? I don't know. The guy had like a. <laughs> He's just a mean nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was like a, a notebook or something. I don't know. He had a notebook. He had thick papers in his hand. Like right. a book. And he hit him. That's a, and the guy bummed because like, ah, this guy hit me. I'm like, what are you hitting him for? And he bowed up to me. And I started. You like, want some I, of these books, son? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm about to give you. What is this? I'm about to give you some fucking romance novels, oh, kid. So he started yelling at so you. So he's yelling at me, squared up to me. And I, start, I squared off back. And then he picked up one of the rope, uh, the VIP rope divider metal things, uh-huh. the poles. Yeah. He picked it up and started like coming after me with it. And I stepped <laughs> back. Was crazy. Yeah, this is uh. downtown. I, I stood back in my stance and I threw like probably three or four like high Moashi get my round kicks in the air like bah, bah, bah. I'm like, come on, come on. And he was like, uh, he, he picks it up and drops it and walks away. Like, yeah, karate has like, always <laughs> been better match against rope and book. <laughs> yeah. You win today. <laughs> but we will be back. Ninja smoke. <laughs> but it was a perfect example of diffusing a fight without actually hurting somebody by just by like showing fancy kicks. Wow. Good thing you protected that <laughs> bum from that. <laughs> For the book of this VIP oh, room. <laughs> the guy he came up to me at the time. And the Congressional Medal of Honor goes to. <laughs> Uh, I'm a good person. So. <laughs> um, uh, brand new song from our good buddy Mark Larabel and his band Cal Pay. These guys are a rock and roll band. That's what I call them. But I guess you could say like progressive rock, heavy rock, yeah. uh, creative rock is what I kind of like. And you're gonna Larabel has a band. Oh yeah. Where have you been? I, I, I saw you new that. pool. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> he's here. got the life. My God. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Well, if that wasn't uh, enough to make you want his life, he also plays drums in a rock band. So enjoy this, and we will be right back. If you guys like White Claw, like Daniel and I oh, do, man, I, mean, I love some White Claw. I drink White Claw uh, almost every day. Well, it's a delicious. hard seltzer, and the same people that make White Claw, the parent company is Mike's Hard Lemonade, and they now have a Mike's Hard Lemonade seltzer that, if you like flavors, the Mike's Hard Lemonade products, yes. including White Claw, this guy, this company, they specialize in the delicious flavors. Yep, you have to try it. It's, uh, you know, 100 calories, uh, 5% alcohol, Uh-oh. just like White Claw. Uh-oh. But they got lemon, strawberry, mango, pineapple. My favorite thing to do is uh, get a Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzer and some White Claw. You could, uh, yeah. you know, uh, have the variety. But uh, it's going to be available everywhere, including at all the ABC Fine Wine and Spirits around Florida. Yeah, you might find it at one of the Tom and Dan watering holes and. If your ABC Fine and Wine and Spirits does not have it, please ask for it. It's Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzer, another product from the fine people at Mike's Hard Lemonade. Welcome back to Omidy Ogre Time with Tom and Dan. That is the Agro Lines with I'm an owl. Was that guy we're interviewing? That, uh, traveling Robert. Oh, Traveling Robert. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess that did sound kind of like Traveling Robert. This is me, Traveling Robert. We're going to do that interview next week, right? Who yes. also sounds like yes. Mr. Potato from Peppa Pig. No, he sounds like Pepe the Shrimp from the Muppets. Oh, I yeah. can see that, too, which yeah. is probably what Mr. Potato from Peppa Pig was stolen from. Let's do our shot, everybody. All right. Uh, Butler. There you go, buddy. All right. Happy New Year's. Here's a toast to the future, a toast to the past, to our BDMs. Live, <laughs> let's not live life too fast. No. No. Suck in fat titties, 90210. God damn it. I tried to make it too fast. Yeah, how do you guys like that? All right, let's see how fucked up Daniel gets. Eight days. That gave me the chills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Chills and thrills. That was brandy they had. Oh, apple God. pear brandy. brandy. Oh, yeah. apple pear brandy. Compliments of Hollerbox Willow Tree. Uh, yeah, well, that's it, a, our faces are no indication of how delicious that was. <laughs> oh, it's like it's strong. Be, I feel it's like it needs to be chilled. Cow, 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 cow. That shit's harsh. <laughs> Wowie. Yeah. Holy. I think fuck. of the movie Clue when I hear. Brandy. Now it's going to be a fun Friday. <laughs> Blow your headphones off. Jesus. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> So, uh, real quick, before we do Seth's news, um, we uh, have a new sponsor, the DeWitt Law Firm. And, uh, on the go. Oh. Just call me. On the go. Just call me. On the go. Just call me.com. He's a lawyer, man. So is, uh, is your business uh, platform to now just steal all of Semantic sponsors? Because now you, you got Joe Burr uh, from Burn Pass. Uh, you that's got, part uh, of the plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's in the... 
So uh, the yarn on the, the go. Just call it's Momo. injured on, on the go. go. Just call I asked to go. Just call Mo.com. No, just He's a lawyer, man. Anytime you're on the go anywhere, just call Mo. <laughs> like, leave your house, yeah. you call hey, Mo. Hey, <laughs> It's more it's for action. I'm leaving my house. If you're injured, he wants well, you to, you if you're injured. Well, you write the fucking song, Dan. What am I supposed to rhyme injured with? Injured, injured. You gotta go, injured on the go. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that uh... You've been it's awkward because uh, Daniel, I asked Daniel to put that because we just want to put a little tagline well, on every the show. Well, you got to write scripts there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I said the injured on the go. On. Well, he's just a lawyer. Call says he's a fucking lawyer, man, at the end of it. <laughs> I am. Uh, on the go. Just call mm. On the go. Just call mm. On the go. Just, just call mo.com. He's a lawyer, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> That's fucking good. I don't know. Uh, How about this go. one? Just call mm. On the go. Just call mm. Just call Mo.com. Mo problems, Mo money. He can get you the money. <laughs> right. I like that one better. <laughs> yeah, I uh, both this is more. Mo problems. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Mo, okay, okay yeah. then Mo money. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, well, I like that one, but I think we have to add the injured part, like I said. We uh, don't. Before. No, I mean, <laughs> you leave the house. The whole you know, idea is going to be fucking everybody. memorable. Did you not listen to our award show uh, uh, that we did? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, you're making the go. Just call. Just call Mo. On the go. Just call Mo.com. Mm. So litigious. <laughs> oh, I like that one. I like that one. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. oh, that would, um, I got horny. Um, I, uh, I'll send him an email. <laughs> that was like, uh, like, hey, uh, we, we didn't air these yet. Which one do you like? <laughs> we didn't air these. <laughs> like, I don't, don't like any of them. Don't fucking lie to him. Our, our advertising is done because this is horrible. And then we're like, I'm sorry. It's amazing to me that you would ask me to do something and then I do it. Uh, and then you good. shit on it. Mm. I just said uh, just a small tag. On the go. Okay. Just go. You'll like this one. Go. Yeah. Just call Mo. On the go. Just call Mo.com. Need we say more? <laughs> well, there's there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure you can see that. There's two Oz and him. No. I was like, I just got to hold on. This one is complete. I got a letter from Wing House. Are you telling me? Don't say it. They don't own that. Just call Mo.com. Need we say more? No, I don't want to. Is that you who say that? <laughs> I've never, uh, and I even took my clothes off to do that. I tied a tube top. All right, we'll figure that out. Uh, this one. Yeah, okay. Okay. He's getting mad. How many of you just do that? Like stop, stop. Every stop. Just call Mo.com. Need we say that's it. That's the one. 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 There it is. There it is. There it is. It doesn't even make any sense. No, it's good. This is it. This is the one. That even is all. It's not even his tagline. Just call Mo.com. Need we say Mo? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because, oh, you think we're insane. Oh, <laughs> People are that. They're like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Play the game. You, you want to hear it? Stop it. He's a guest of honor. One more time. One more time. On the go. My mom. On the go. Just call Mo.com. Need me say Mo. Why is that so fucking funny? <laughs> <laughs> you don't I don't think my job is done here. <laughs> this is the loudest <laughs> that's ever left. Doesn't even sense. Well, he's on an edible right now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, right. right. oh, <laughs> hey, I meant Christine <laughs> left too. She's about to have her baby. She gets induced on Sunday. We love Still? you. Oh my, oh my God. God. She's been in labor for nine days. Oh, no, I would have a bed in labor. She's been sitting in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, uh, they sent her home. She's been sitting at home. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll send the email. All right. Uh, <laughs> see, uh, no, no, no. I'll just send the last one. You don't seem very happy about I, what I did. Uh, so, I that, that, you don't look very. I, yeah, uh, you right, don't yeah. look happy about the rollout. Well, you do some tweaks on that. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, Seth, you got some news? Uh, All right. Let's. Uh, uh, can I? Can I have my intro song yeah. be that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me with your dude bro news. 
News brought to you by AmericanAirAndHeat.com. Uh, Daniel and I have uh, mm-hmm. complete new systems. I'll tell you, if, even if you have like a semi-new system, you're like, I don't need a new one yet. Look at your ducks, because your ducks might be the original ducks of, that you got when your house was built. <laughs> And you got one return, like once they are Ameri- basically describing what you had to redo yeah. in your home, and your return was right near his entertainment center. The so couch was loud. Yeah. Every time so was- imagine if you and your boys had settled in to watch the finale of The Mandalorian, and you couldn't hear a damn thing that was being said. We used to have to turn off the AC yeah. because it was too loud. And now they put it's all, perfect. Like they put all the returns in every single room, and it's in the roof. And so, and it makes a lot more sense because it cools the, it draws the heat out instead of like if your returns on the other side of your house, Not gonna all the the heat that builds up in your rooms are just stuck there, you know, on in the ceiling. So anyway, talk to them and they'll uh, they'll take care of you, American. Indeed. Army. What I do just, we got? I just installed the UV light on my AC. Yeah, oh, they, they do that. Yeah, me and Dan got those. Dude, are gonna uh, love that. Real good, like the best one they make. So Wait, the kill, well, you can't legally say I can kills everything. But You'll it love it. Uh, a lot of, you uh, get a bad blammer in the house, and it's oh, not my friend. No, I did it in the dojo. No, but you go. Oh, in, oh that's even better. For then you everyone. go there and you turn it up, and it'll take out the the stank smell in the air. Like literally, uh, yeah. they got like, deodorizer. Uh, it's, it, I was thinking to get rid of all the fluid. Well, we use it. Yeah. It's a, it's a simple thing to use in the dentist household, and I know you use it too. You cook steaks in the house or bacon, and it starts to like steak. Stay. You turn it up, it'll take it out of the air, and you turn it back down. And then the UV kills like you know amazing viruses when I. Electrostatic right. filter. What do we got? Yeah. Right. Can you adjust my camera first, Daniel? I just oh, got is your... What? No, you're on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I you're got on. I got text saying I wasn't yeah, on. Yeah, sorry. No, you're on. In the very beginning when you <laughs> were boo, laughing. My boo was like, hey, <laughs> but tell them if you're yeah. see <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wanted to see you laughing. I got <laughs> Who many, do you force to watch I got this? too many buttons to get I, just I my apologize, oh, guys. I'm sorry about that. And he's like, let let me know when they're not showing No, I don't give a shit about that. She's probably double-clicking her mouse right now watching it. That's weird. Or it's, it's like when you take the traffic uh, court test online and you just the timer's going off. So she's scrolling. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's shopping online. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a zappers. <laughs> All right, what are she we got? Better be working. All right, uh, a substitute teacher who's twenty. This is on the BDM page that's posted. Yeah, I saw this. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to bring it up because it was interesting. A substitute teacher. She's 25. Is charged with raping her eighth grade student after the 15 year old's mom found photos. And videos of the two together Ugh. on the boys' phone. What do you think? Oh man! Thoughts? I can go talk more. I just, I just want to hear the double standards come out. That's all. <laughs> well, these are, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. where do you want us to go? Uh, with it? Okay. Well, that's why I'm saying traditional I want to 90s. Say, here, you want us to go 2000? No. Yeah. Here's what uh, I want to ask. Me I, have a, I have a lo- logical type of explanation for it. it the listeners would say, <sighs> look, it's, it depends on where we're at right now. The listeners <laughs> want. I'm going to guess they want us to say. That this is appalling. Okay, say it, let's say it both ways. Yeah, I, I, say it both ways. this is appalling. It should not happen. These are educators, mm-hmm. and our children trust them to teach them good things, Success. not to take advantage of them right. and yeah. screw with their brains. When an so adult, this lady is yeah. the most vile and disgusting person on the planet, and she should be prosecuted to the fullest ex- extent of the law. Yeah, she's also fucking hot. Mm. This is pretty- Woo! <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it there. That's all I'm gonna say. But you're 15. When did you guys? Lo- I'm just gonna leave it there. Would, you, you, think, say the would other you think any differently if it was a 25 year old man? Oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah. I will. Yeah, I'm a dad oh, yeah, of a daughter. Course. Yes, I'm 100. Yeah, just, yeah. just wanted. But, to yeah. So I, that's why I'm just stopping also, where I, I stopped. I find it really uh, strange that she pled not guilty when there are yeah, photos, photos and yeah, video of her weird. on her. You know, maybe she could say she did that. Not guilty for the actual rape. Maybe she's. That's what she's pleading. Uh, what the, the, I have a friend. I think the, the video might be of the. Oh, them sex. I, I, I don't know. Of, instead of saying it's statutory, statutory rape, okay. they just said rape, probably to sensationalize yeah, because yeah. every news. Well, you cannot clicks. give consent. I, so I, no, no, rape. but it, okay, yeah, okay. but it, but they you, they instead of saying statutory rape, they use just rape because. The, the well, story yeah. gets more <laughs> clear. Well, they know you're going to go to. But like, I had a friend that I used to go to concerts here in Orlando, like punk rock shows, who uh, became a teacher, and then she went on to end up getting arrested for smoking weed and having sex with two of her students at a particular high school. And then, like, she <laughs> fell off the face of the planet, right? Like, and I didn't know where she was. And then it was one of those scenarios where one day I get an email from her, and she's like, this is fr- from a different account. Uh-huh. Well, not any. Uh, p- pardon. I got. It. I don't want to say anything that's that's inaccurate because this is true yeah. and serious. I got an email from one of her friends who said, 
Uh, I don't know if you remember blank, but I'm her friend. She cannot, she is not allowed to use a computer to email. Mm. And she wanted me to send an email to see, you know, to, like, it was like a check-in email. And then I went, I Googled and looked this person up and it, I was floored. And there is a, a massive bucket loads of mental illness there. Mm. And it's sad. For and sure. I, I, but I do understand the, the, the statements that we all want to make. Like, oh, man, if I was a 15-year-old boy, burr, 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 I get it. Yeah. And Kurt- I think everyone thinks that. But I think, because uh, we did have a female BDM that posted on that thread that she is a, she works in child psychology. And yeah. she's like, you'd be surprised how bad this, oh, I agree. this kid is. But yeah. it's a, I think it's up to the individual. Like, some kids could handle that and be fine in life. Yeah. If you had sex with a 25-year-old girl. Yeah, but we girl. make laws to protect some- I know, yeah, but yeah, some reason. kids, some kids can handle that. It's just a psyche. Hey, but but if you were 15, you usually lose your virginity. I lost it at 16. Say you lost yeah, it at 15. Yeah, but not to an authority yeah. figure. I, there's uh, also the huge uh, fallout of but like everything around. Still it. Consen- the kid, the little kids are still consenting to each other, which I, which they're still it's mentally a little different. Here, it's a little different. Yeah, but here's the problem with because we're going to talk ourselves yeah, yeah. into a circle. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do it. So That's why I stopped. I don't so, even want to bring this I up. Believe I believe I stopped with woo. I said my real opinion when it was me, Travis, and Daniel. I know you did. Oh, so when I, I wasn't here, yeah, and when uh, I start yeah. my uh, other podcast, well, what we by, say he in the by, office, he started by grabbing his cock, <laughs> well, and he called it that, office. and he held his balls, and he goes, <laughs> no, "That's how he started." The no, ultimate, I'm joking, and either. then we'll move on. But, uh, but I think the ultimate problem is that we're all look remembering ourselves as eighth grade boys, and we're thinking uh, when I was in eighth grade, <laughs> I had uh, imagined banging my <laughs> hot teachers around oh, the school. Yeah. Or whatever, and I would jack off to it every night. And my fantasy was literally—I wouldn't. I was kind of nerd. My fantasy was what is described in this news story that is horrible, right? Be- because every eighth grade boy—not everyone, but uh, a lot of eighth grade oh, boys—it yeah. could be well, the I, male teacher I, or whatever—that had fantasies about having sex with their teachers. Yeah, I, I had a math teacher that I even thought girls, was extremely attractive and pretty. Yeah. And here's the thing: even girls have fantasies about it, right? Yeah, it's it, having a crush on a teacher's. It's yeah, up to sure. the adults. Not yes. to fuck with the yes. underage kids, and that's a problem. Yeah. But because I'm the guys have fantasies about it, you can't link the two. We're uh, we always look at yeah. it, and then we have an opinion, and then it's and then it gets, we, yeah. Yeah, that's when it gets out of control. And that's You're the right. problem. Yeah, yeah. But you know, the, we've all and then yeah, we look at like, all. I, I, I still remember her. It's the Zach Galifianakis my, joke. Die of high fiving. Yeah, my yeah. but my teacher, like I, yeah, I, I totally remember the teacher I'm thinking of. I totally remember the way that she looked and everything, and it's very weird. That my like you, you, you t- did you have a particular teacher that like oh yeah yeah, yeah. that you, does does I every did. do you did say so I did not did but there a, but there was an English teacher that a lot of the other girls had a crush okay. on but I, we, still, I did have a math teacher that was a female that would openly tell the guys in the class that when they're eighteen she's gonna fuck them oh my god openly I still have wow. fantasy yeah. I think yeah. it it affected me so much that That's I fucked up yeah. still like like the the older woman like seducing me fantasy. Fantasy, like that's like a. I, yeah, do, like, I, I like that. I do uh, like a pencil skirt. I, gotta <laughs> yeah, tell you. I, I know, like it all squeezed teacher. in there, and I like a zipper down the back, and then I'll yeah. eat it from the back. But anyway, so yeah, it, it becomes polarizing when oh you start God, talking, we gotta stop about talking about talking it. I'm sweating, <laughs> sweating <laughs> like a horny Michael Jackson. Brandy. I'm glad I brought it up. <laughs> Turn the AC back down. Uh. And Seth, uh, also, and this goes for everybody. When when you're having arguments online, the way you it's imp- it's almost impossible because. Because the person, the person that's going to read what you're writing to them is going to read it as if in the emotion well, they want you're to also read scream, it. Yeah, they're going to read it as if yeah. you're screaming it in their face. If you're really passionate about it, call the person and have a voice conversation because uh, the online typing fucking arguments never right. is yeah, never yeah, going to yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, meet them in person for coffee or <laughs> buy them a lunch. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that like you, yeah. uh, humans have to talk to each other because our communications fucked if up. If you want to have this text. type of conversation, gather. You know, I don't know, yeah. fifty or seventy-five of your closest <laughs> friends, and all get together really, really close and talk about it without yeah. masks. Next Jesus. story, Seth. In uh, a building. So speaking of that, I haven't had one story on COVID this entire time just because I wanted to get away from it, and not talk about it because it's all, all of the news. Yeah, yeah. But this one made me kind of happy and excited because of my anxiety lately. Uh, yeah. So, uh, scientists at the University of Denver's uh, Nobel Institute for Healthy Aging, in collaboration with two other research entities, have developed and tested a new and highly sensitive antibody test for COVID-19 that's so accurate it can predict if a patient will experience mild COVID symptoms versus a more severe symptoms. Wow. So they can 
Uh, I'll keep going here. No, that's cool. Uh, the test is a breakthrough because it examines more uh, viral antigens uh, than most other antibody tests, and therefore can learn a lot more about a patient with symptoms. Uh, the doctor said, blah, blah, blah. Weird. So are they saying that, uh, because then how does that blood test account for, like, if you have lung problems or your, you know, your age or like it accounts for all that stuff. Like, uh, you know, like underlying uh, other cancers and stuff, because I know anybody that's obviously dealing with other problems is going to have a hard time dealing with COVID, I assume. So it's like, Mm. it's, but does that take into account, like, is there genetics involved? Do you Uh, want to know the degree of your cancer? Like if they Uh, come... This test I'd 100% Okay, so they come to you... That way I know if I'm, I'm, I'm being... Like how I'm being is ridiculous. Yeah, like but if, if they I'm come to you anxious. and they say to you right now, they say, you know, you go to, let's say you leave this studio at, let's say, 3. Yes. You go get your test. At 5.30, you get a call, and they're like, we tested you. You are susceptible to cancer, and at some point, you will get cancer, the most aggressive <laughs> cancer. Well, then you could fight it early, though. They no, have these. You, they, they, they do. you don't know when you're going to get it. You my just wife, know you're going to get the aggressive cancer. My wife I had to get... bulldoze my gym and then just go on a <laughs> tangent doing something crazy. I don't know what I would do. There's, dude, there's already this test. Like, there's a bunch of genetic markers that you could uh, test Is that the one you, you get tested, and then if you're predisposed to, like, penal cancer, I can pre emptively get my dick removed. Yeah. Or that's called the Angelina t- Jala, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like uh I know my wife uh she had to get her tested because her Christ. uncle had colon cancer and apparently if you have that in your family then you need to get tested for the trait uh to make sure you're not super susceptible uh, to they had, they had to look at her butthole. It, <laughs> it's, no, it's just a genetic <laughs> test do, or whatever. Do you nominate yourself? And uh, then yeah. if you have that trait and you're more susceptible all you have to do is you just have to get tested more or start earlier. Anything silly related to colon cancer, like, okay, I'm just throwing it out there. Polyps. If we looked at, well, that's pretty silly. Well, the word is silly, (laughs) but I'm just saying, if we looked at everybody that has colon cancer across the globe, and we looked at their butthole, and we're like, yeah, all of these guys have massive buttholes. Oh, you mean like there's some like a, sort of it, a, like uh, look? You have an enormous butthole, like blue <laughs> whale's butthole. Yeah. yeah, like is there anything like that? They're like if you have a large dilated butthole, <laughs> that you are more <laughs> susceptible. Here's the problem: though, so colon cancer is is there a problem with this? And the fact that uh, if you get the test, you find out that like oh yeah, if you get COVID, you're not going to be uh, you'll be fine. You know, obviously you'll be asymptomatic or whatever. But the problem is like spreading but, it right. Still like I, I still well, that's fine to me. I can you know, do it. That stress of having a mask on, which isn't a big deal to me, and, and not you're worried just about worried every day about. I'm getting worried it every again. fucking day about. Yeah. Oh, well, will my asthma kick in when I get it, and will I be on a vent? Like I'm fucking scared uh, to death. Now I don't give a shit. I'm a pussy. I'll punch somebody <laughs> in the face. Like, but yeah, and and, and yeah, and this. By the way, this is uh, you know obviously the hypochondria and unreasonable worry. Right. You know, like you oh. shouldn't be that worried, but. Uh, yeah, I understand. You just want, like we were talking about, like if you had a way to test yourself every single day, like blood test to find yeah. out if all your organs are working right, you'd pay how much? Well, you already pay. How much money do you think you pay yearly on medical bills? Well, coming up the next couple of months, it'll be at, le- at least five thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. And of but your it's own money, worth it insurance. for how- just with all my deductibles and yeah, right. insurance and all that shit. Yeah. And wow. but it's worth it to you because yes. for peace of mind. Yes, because the, the most you're... Well, it's part of his process. I understand yeah. having all these. Like it yeah, happened it. to me. I did it three years ago. I did the same thing. I got, I got my heart checked. I got my stomach checked. I got everything checked. I got my MRI again, and then I was fine for a while. Is there a way to cure hypochondria? Ah, kill me. <laughs> Travis says no. Like, <laughs> all right, Doctor Travis. It's, uh, yeah, you know, Travis knows everything. I don't know if he knows, yeah, but uh, but there's got to be. There's a way I'm to sure, cure of course, irrational fears. Yeah, psychologist. I'm sure there's maybe anti-anxiety meds I could probably I'm take. I'm sure there's like specialized therapy. Self-talk? I don't know that it'll yes, fully therapy. go away, but I think you I'm can. Sh- like, why don't you try? Why don't you try? Why do you think I got my medical card? What about a deprivation tank? No, but I'm sure there's like a specialist, like a therapist to go to. They could literally like because if someone has a rational fear of flying. There's like programs. I do. Yeah, you, know, you got over it though yourself. No, but I, though. no. Well, I'm not really over, it, but I am better. And it was hypnosis. The, that um, yeah, remember yeah. I I did therapy, and then I I bought this book that this guy makes, and you yeah. he he slowly and logically walks you through every part of the airplane as it's taking off, and it walks you. <laughs> if anybody wants it, you know, because I mean, it's an irrational I mean, I fear. Like and and lots of people go through have yeah, good. and and crippling anxiety over irrational fears, and it affects their 
their life so much, and like you know, obviously. The well, money I wouldn't want to time. fly home like sometimes with Tom Lawler for his fights. I'd be like, I'd be begging him to rent a car and drive back home. I'd be like, yeah, let's make a road trip out of it. Let's do it. Yeah. I'd be willing to spend way more money rent yeah. a car. I've a thousand dollars one way. Too. So there's got to be some sort of way, like a program that's worked for people that that deal with hypochondria. Like hypnosis, maybe. Like or like microdose Drinking. with hypnosis. There's got to be some aggressive. I mean, Seth, you know, obviously you got the money. I mean, how much money but, would but you? Then, but then pay? I've been on top of that. I'm like thinking, why am I such a, a pussy or just a wuss and not disciplined enough to just kick it myself? That is the worst part of my own. Well, it's not my a own. pussy. I mean, you're not. Oh, you're, the fact that I'm not stronger than is that. Why are wrong? The, 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 <laughs> no, 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 it's it is weird that somebody that has as many dedicated discipline traits as he has, yeah. those discipline traits aren't applied to the hypochondria. But that is the way it works. Yeah, yeah, but that's it, the it, problem. It, that's yeah, the wiring. That is this the wiring messed up. Yeah, yeah. Messed up. Listen, because it's can't... funny. You you are not a pussy. We know that. We've you fought some of the like the Bob Sapp thing. I still like no one can ever call you a pussy just based on that alone. Yeah. Uh, well, that's the control factor. I was in control of all those situations. I'm not a control. I'm. In limited control of what happens inside my body right. and, and those sort of things. I get and it, on a yeah. plane. One million percent. So, man, look that up feeling. Google how to cure hypochondria. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I did. I did. Okay, so oh, there's, uh, there's no quote unquote cure, but uh, you, can, you can make progress <laughs> by uh, <laughs> cognitive behavioral therapy, counseling, psychology, desensitization. <laughs> Desensitization, psychoeducation, exposure and response prevention. They're all different types of therapy, mm, okay. essentially. I mean, have you that ever sounds a lot. learning to also it. antidepressants? I've been I've been to therapists many a times. Is, no, have you been to a specialist on hypochondria? Not on no, not a specialist. I, I think it's worth doing it, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, what if it's I mean, I'm just too I, yeah, I don't know. You're not because, like, well, well, you were about to say something yeah, incredibly say inaccurate. Yeah, you were about right, to go, maybe yeah. I'm just lazy. Because I should not do true. that, I guess. I just think that it's mental so no, it's something just, different than my than my You're just not doing it because that's you're why in, you need no, the therapy because no, it's he, mental. No, I know yeah. I know what he's doing. He's in his routine. The normal routine is to go to the doctors, get checked out. He knows he's going to get the okay. I know I'm going to get the okay. Right. Oh. But then you and feel when you better. get the okay, you feel better for about a month and a half, three months at the mm-hmm. most, and then you do the cycle all over again. The idea would be to break the cycle, like right. Tom's saying, get him, like, do what you're doing because it does help, but then get that hypochondria specialist in God. there. And, this and then is, that yeah. would probably break the cycle. Because this that is, would just be my, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Obviously not that intelligent and certainly not a doctor. I mean, what kind of Right. Do you have the willpower no. to go oh, yeah, to a special? Yeah, he's this, trying to fix you now. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, man, look at him. He's daring you. Because think about it. Like you have the willpower to eat clean, exercise no. every day. Business is my great. god. You're like a fucked up Tony Robbins. <laughs> no, 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 no. But With this is the one. Teeth. <laughs> the one thing that probably, if you read about it, like it, people have been cured from, or at least it was significantly helped yeah, by, right, by yeah. like hardcore therapy. Now it's probably expensive, but it's great because Seth's got the money to pay for it. He'd probably, if you ask him today. Like, would you pay ten thousand dollars and never have hypochondria again? Probably pay it in two seconds. Of yeah. course you would. So, I mean, it can't be much well, more I don't expensive. Know. That's for a, a therapist. lot of Letterman jackets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could get one for so, every BDM. Or that. <laughs> it's the same as me not being, able, and I think a lot of people not being able to even eat right or exercise or whatever. It's like hard to do, and then God, because it's, yeah. like, it's my. I don't know, man. Like, I don't think I can. And there's nothing anyone can tell me. Besides physically making sure I'm okay, that you don't need to, don't worry about it. It's fine. Like, yeah. About you want to see it on the paper. Well, they're not going to be. They're not going to well, be like me. You're like, wow, why are you being such a pussy? You're fine. You're look how ripped you are. Get out of here. Like, the, yeah, that's are, what Tom does to me. They're they're a professional that war. probably goes through certain things yeah. uh, and like a program. They specialize. Stuff. In, yeah, you know, know, so it's like you, you, just, no so, therapist. If you're if you're definitely afraid afraid of flying and you've never flown uh, because you're scared of crashing and stuff, and you go to a therapist, you're going to be like, oh. Just fly. Don't you know? Statistically, you're not going to crash. No, like, that doesn't that's help. Not, that's not how they work. Irrational fears. Yeah. They, you go through a process and you come out at the other side, and that's the whole thing. And I think you the could be steps. you could be cured by a professional. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know about cured, but I, maybe it might help me a little bit. Yeah, you get better. I, well, what if you were to the point where you just thought about it every once in a while, and you could talk yourself down? Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking myself down, and you so didn't have to get the good. tests. You know, you just got normal tests for your age. I think. Uh, imagine the life. Like that yeah. for my age now, it's going to be a lot. Of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, for your age and uh, the good thing is, know, I already had all the tests for my age plus about twenty more years. No, so. uh, yeah, right, so you're what's fine. The, sorry, next okay. story. 
right. Uh, so let's let's just talk about some bad stuff. A few months ago, <laughs> a group of scientists warned about the rise of extinction denial as an effort, much like climate denial, to um, mischaracterize the extinction crisis and suggest that human activity isn't really having a damaging effect on ecosystems and the whole planet. Meaning, there's a lot of species going ex- extinct, and we're saying. Humans are saying we're not the cause of it. There's, it's just going. It's just kind of like we're not the cause of climate change. Uh, there's lots of species that are going extinct, and we're saying it's not our fault as well. Yeah, I'm okay. okay so what that. I'm going to say, what, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I'm fully okay with. Well, it. Which, the like, less I know about that, the better. Actually. I mean, there's a list that just went extinct in 2020, and it's huge. There's like tons of species that went extinct. When in it gets to giraffe, that all start paying attention. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me something I recognize. Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, that's what I wanted to do. I got hippos gone. Oh shit! Yeah. That's just it. I wanted to name some. Turn of these off the water. You got to get to a big one. Like when you get turn my truck off. Even like some of these, even some of these other ones, when you're like Pac-Man frog, I'm like, yeah, they're cool. The rare yeah, bearded lizard of the Amazon. Like, yeah, oh, the fuck I don't know. I'm not going to the Amazon. If it gets the bird, then I'm like, oh shit, bird. <laughs> what? Regular? What kind of bird? Chicken? Oh fuck, <laughs> we're fucked. Okay, when you think just animals, though, what about uh, 32 species of orchids? Oh, you flowers. mean flowers? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so we're counting plants too? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, so now you're just being a pussy yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're counting plants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you got? The palm tree is gone. Holy oh. shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, buy different shoes. The no more palm trees. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, oak yeah. trees done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Like, oh, I changed my behavior. You know. <laughs> So How are we going to get got? paper? Orchids are pretty. You can't make paper out of giraffe. Mm-hmm. Right. We were supposed to have a fun Friday today. <laughs> and so far, we've talked about rape, COVID, and extinction. <laughs> well, yeah. well, yeah. And hypochondria. Well, COVID was a uh, happier story. Well, COVID's not real, so it's only <laughs> <Yeah>. two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's... Uh, so you talked about frog. Not only a frog species, there's 22 frog species that went extinct. I'm okay uh, with that. I don't like frogs. What? I love frogs. Really? I mean, what do you <laughs> love? What are you I like yeah. turtles. I like yeah. turtles and frogs. Those two frogs will do though. anything. I Am I still going to see a frog every once in a while? I can't. Well, well, okay, okay. Well, well, okay. One, 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 I can't put one, a frog in a Freddy Krueger <laughs> Halloween well, costume yeah, from which? Is it a bouffo toad? Because those things need to go. One of, them was a, one of them was a splendid poison frog. So maybe it was a splendid poison. That was an attraction in Orlando, I thought. 15% of mite species. Mites? About the mites. Yeah, Nobody wants yeah. mites. Yeah. Well, oh, they re- the mites. <laughs> uh, they may not look or sound important, Sam, but they play a key roles in their <laughs> in their native ecosystems. Yeah, like what? Uh, it didn't say. It just oh, says okay. that. It doesn't tell you, you know, why. They fly around. They die. Then some sort of <laughs> they fly amoeba. and die. <laughs> Fuck some them. amoeba. You know, it's all yeah, there. Know. Although you know, long term, this is worth all fucked mites. for sure. Why can't uh, shit like mosquitoes go extinct? I'm glad they will eventually. Yeah. When we go extinct, I'm glad we're just seeing the beginning of it because by the time it gets real bad, well, I the will beginning's be dead. Fun. You know, the beginning of it's fun because you yeah, get yeah. rid of some of the shit we ate. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, fuck you the fight. Yeah. <laughs> but this is going to be, you know, I mean, like, real yeah, bad. Eventually. It's, it's, it's like know, guys like, who start to lose their be, hair. When you yeah. lose a little bit in the front, you look like a tough ass. But when you lose all of it, you look mm. like a comic book store owner. My, uh, <laughs> Max, way different. Max will be dressed like uh, S&M for whatever he's driving the doom buggy. Oh, It'll yeah, be bad, yeah. bad for them. Well, it's easier to drive a doom buggy. name fits. But he's not. There it is. Yeah, but he's Tommy, you're but it's not the movie. <laughs> but the movie's Oh, no. You could be the nerd that gets the balloon or whatever the scientist. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> they always well, need a scientist in the end of the world. So you either fly that's true, a balloon that's true. or... Purify the water or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. The movie's called Dancing Max, which is way different. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, as much aggression. Uh, a, a Japanese bat, a praying mantis from France that's called... Pseudo Dyseria Brevi Penis. <laughs> the name is Brevi Penis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he chases the other prank mantises. Uh, uh, with the, uh, false. I don't even know what these things are. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's a lot of there's a lot of bullshit things. You're, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is what yeah. happens. The, the this is all, all the, the bullshit. Die yeah. South first. African plant, uh, which is just uh, it's telling this, us yeah. that other stuff will die, but oh, yeah. we're laughing. We're like, ha! I a don't fish, care. About yeah, and then fish, you're like a fish from Kazakhstan. <laughs> <laughs> they, All they whales nice. are dead. Oh Very my nice. god! Yeah, that's like, yeah. There will event like my sons oh, will be yeah. like every like there's nothing left. Like it's all dead. They were like oh, I and mean, they're like it started with the mites. Why didn't you do anything with the mites? Lots and of, to- lots of a- toads. We laughed. I'm at okay it. with it. 
<laughs> we, we laughed at it. I we am said, too. All right, all right, fuck we don't. I mean, like, what am I supposed to do? What am I going <laughs> to run out there and grab a couple of them, put them in an old fish tank, and put a leaf in there with a little bowl of water? I, like, I look at it like this. I like, well, if is what I'm going to do going to change it? Like, there's all everybody is doing. They're ruining it more than me. <laughs> so, like, what does it matter? <laughs> I think it's, it's definitely. I point at somebody and I go, "It's your fault." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not you, mine. You, you know, know, you know what I'm weird about is like, uh, and I don't advocate littering or anything. Like that but like bottles on the ground and uh plastic no cups offense. on the ground no offense but the animal that is going to make that its home and ecosystem has no clue whether that's an actual you know rock or native thing so you have to leave it you have to or, leave the trash or, in the ground like, <laughs> besides, besides, in the ocean, my wife again. besides in the ocean <laughs> where something might eat it and choke and die what what would be the issue of having uh, a plastic cup on the ground where it's home for some ants or for some man- praying mantis or yeah, a toad's yeah. little home or something yeah, like that. Don't it doesn't mess know with the difference. Their trash cup home. <laughs> My besides God. us, besides us being if like, you, ew, that God. looks ugly. If you mess, if you mess with that, you're a bad person. It's like, it's like I'm <laughs> back home and you're digging the uh, six uh, pack holder out of the trash, yeah. screaming at me as you well, cut Butler it up. Well, Butler does that. And he, and he cuts them up. And then, you know, I go back and I use a lighter to melt them all back together. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. It's, but it's, it's still going to kill the turtles. And he does. He's like, this is turtle size. This is blue. Yeah. I do them in all different sizes. Yeah. I do them in all different sizes. The smallest, what's the smallest I've done? Muskrat. Oh, yeah. He's like, Muskrat. And he's like, this will get him good. Yeah, I was like, whatever it takes to choke them all. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Pokemon. <laughs> I think that's the first time you've said it correctly. Uh, it is when he was being mean dad. He's like, ha oh, ha, they're dead. Pokemon. <laughs> Call back. What else we got? Pokemon. All right. Uh, this one I. It was late last night, and I just had to pick a last one. So, uh, <laughs> oh, no, right. You kids, kids his homework. If you just told way. us, I would just assume that yeah. you uh, tried really <laughs> hard. Oh, I did on everything else. I yeah. do. I do actually look. But just reverse just... the sentences in your opening paragraph and make it your closing uh, paragraph. Like, right? I, do this yeah. shit every, I take the sentences, put it at the bottom one at the top, the yeah. top one at the bottom. We don't have sign to, it. We don't have to worry about this either because we don't get snow here. But uh, just so you guys know, it's not just yellow snow that you have to watch out for. Brown snow. Mm. <laughs> Why it might. Uh, White snow. Well, it might uh, be tempting to chomp on an icicle. They come. Uh, they can also Ew. be extremely <laughs> gross. This is why one meteorologist is warning against plucking off uh, one from your home and taking a bite or a lick. You could be eating oh. cum sickles. <laughs> uh, well, I'm meteorologist well, Chance Thompson. It's I've never seen uh, Butler. Have you seen this? Like anybody break yeah. an icicle off really? and just start sucking uh, it? It's I, fucking water I'm, off your roof. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When I'm in Colorado, I honestly can't stop myself. When I'm in Colorado, <laughs> I'm in Colorado <laughs> I, I see kids doing that. Oh, I, when yeah. I'm in Colorado, I visit when I go skiing. I always go sucking some icicles. Eating and shit like that. If you break up oh, icicles yeah. and start eating, yeah. <laughs> or from a rock, it doesn't have to be from Let a roof. Anyway. What? I don't see non-special people breaking up <laughs> icicles and eating them. Anyway, what happened? You know, so yeah, he says what kind of what, what Butler said. Uh, when icing forms, it's water that melts off your roof and runs down the side of a building. Well, here's the thing. You know what else is on the roof? Bird shit. Lots of it. And the water picks up and freezes it in the ice. You're eating poop. <laughs> You're talking to yourself. <laughs> to yourself, you're eating poop. <laughs> he's licking, he's licking, he's reading his phone and licking an icicle. He's like, if you are looking at icicle, you're licking it off your roof. It is co- guess what's in there? Tons of bird shit. Oh, this is interesting. Lick, lick, lick. Oh, oh, I just wanted to finish the. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I had from so it gets, but it's not. I mean, it's not just white. It's, yeah, not, white it's, not, a, it's not like it's I a mean, Mickey it's got, bar. You know? <laughs> it's got so many elements you know i'm sure it's all food down. has oh it's watered down fecal it's matter watered down. i mean i've you know we've all put poo in our mouth today yeah, yeah i feel like um like some sort Might of poop. yeah micro poo micro mm. poop particle yeah. has flown into our mouth at all times yeah, yeah watch yeah. this there it is now everybody's got yeah, it in wherever you <gasps> itch your butt and smell it you're getting poop in your nose anyway yeah, yeah. what yeah. are you talking <laughs> about <laughs> My God! <laughs> <laughs> you go from so much and she, she's scrolling. <laughs> oh no, she saw something worse. <laughs> the the volume oh, down. Okay, okay, you said well, you, yeah. you yeah. want to talk about this. Well, I don't so want to talk about, it, but it just you don't fell, have it to. fell into this. Oh, it's not a big deal. No, it's stupid. It's minor compared to what I normally talk about. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, so you know, my stomach, I said, has been upset lately. I'm seeing yeah. a doctor and stuff like that. So I've had way more gas than normal. Like. <laughs> She found like, your underwear in the closet. Like, uh, no, I make sure I take care of that. <laughs> she's like, That's too far. So I was, I got out of the shower, and she's next to me. She's she's drying her hair, and I had to fart out of the shower. So oh, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> trying to do it where it's like not crazy ripping because it would rip hard and Blamers, bad, yeah. and blam, I'd blame yeah. it bad. Yeah. So I was trying to like 
tense up and just squeeze it. So I was like, like a longer, easier one. And as I was doing that, I didn't realize I was fucking started drizzling pee and started peeing <laughs> at, the same, at the same time. She hears something. She looks over and like she's like, an old dog you're fucking pee. Like You're incontinent, dude. <laughs> Caesar. Caesar did that. I grabbed so, Caesar. I heard his leg. My and I startled him out of his sleep and he just started pissing on the comforter. <laughs> and you could just hear it. And he could hear it, too. And he was like, what is that? What the fuck is that? He was the one pissing. He's so, like, yeah. someone's pissing in here. My boyfriend doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> This is getting bad. <laughs> so just so I'm, far- I'm farting. I, I am farting though, and I'm like, uh, I'm kind of laughing because I'm farting. And she looks. She goes, "What the fuck?" I look down. I'm like, "Oh, and it's just <laughs> like a like Old a drippy like a drippy hose, hose, but not like like a drippy hose. Like a, yeah, yeah. it's almost on, so it's like coming out, but not like full out, but not drip drippy. Yeah, it's like when I leave so my like, RO, I would definitely tell the doctor that. Yeah, so I was like, oh. yeah, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, well, that's know. what happens. But I was at the squeezing, scene. and I didn't realize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like a I mean, water pick. Your yeah. prostate, you can't. I even... hold my foreskin when I fart, and then I fill the balloon up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hold my foreskin. Constantly. Then usually I go outside and I just like right out the leg hole. I'm just like it's yeah. like holding the puke in your mouth. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, do of, I do one of these. <laughs> <What? laughs> Who can do yeah, that? Out everywhere. <laughs> uh, God damn it! All right. Oh. She was cool though. She's a trooper. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Storm trooper. I don't know what that was. Either. All right. Well, uh, break time? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a break. Oh, my God. That's funny. Um, what are we doing here? Oh, this is a uh, brand new music from the band Come Closer. The name of the song is Get It Wrong. It is a single. So we'll probably get more music very, very soon. one eight four four T O M. the letter N-D-A-N. If you'd like to call, show at TomAndDan.com for emails. Call. Oh, I did that. We'll be right back. If you're looking for a car, you uh, you got to at least give our two sponsors and both dealerships a look. Yeah, you give them a shot. Yeah, I mean, one is Don Mealy Sport Subaru Sport Mitsubishi right there on West Colonial Drive in front of the fairgrounds. Mm-hmm. They're the only Subaru dealership in Florida with no dealer fee. And there's also Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. Um, now, if you go to Subaru, talk to our buddy Mike Stacks. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a Subaru Mitsubishi and the uh, Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont, talk to J.C. Harrelson. Well, they got a really cool thing they're doing like on the DM Chevy side right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know these mid-engine Corvettes are extremely hard to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, you don't need to find one. They're, you could actually win a, like, a... Sp- like this is the top of the line dream car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corvette mid engine that you cannot find for the next couple of years. And if you think that's going to get easier, yeah. where there's a virus in place, <laughs> it will not get easier. Cars are actually it, it really hard to find right now, especially oh, yeah, yeah. these type of cars. And if you want to win that Corvette Stingray Convertible Z51, you can buy your tickets online at c8corvettecontest.com. Yep. I would definitely do it because yeah, I yeah. mean, it the, all goes to charity. It too. all goes to charity and and this is an extremely rare vehicle. Yeah, and you could win one, and the proceeds go to charity. So that's a super cool thing that DM oh Chevy's God. doing. Yeah, how cool would I be if I won that? Yeah, yeah. Driving I, around with no shirt on. I've got ponytail. I got five different cars from the dealerships. Yeah. <laughs> like it sounds like a lot, yeah. but I got the Subaru Forester first. My wife got a pre-owned Chevy Traverse yeah. from. Uh, Don Mealy Subaru. Yeah, she, hey, got, she got, the, got it from she Subaru. She got it from the Subaru because side. they have a bunch of pre-owned but then vehicles. She liked the Traver- her Traverse so much that she ended up getting another yeah, one. I, well, I traded it in to get my WRX right. from Ford Subaru. That's what it was. You had a freak out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then after my lease, so you got your truck. I got my sh- my truck, my uh, Silverado That's the Chevy side, from, yeah. from Chevy, and then my wife went to Chevy and got her brand new Traverse. Yeah, it's badass. Uh, so we've dealt with uh, JC Harrelson, Mike Stacks. Yeah. And uh, all the fine and people. And if you just stop dealerships. in there, they'll give you something, you know. And, and make sure you tell yeah. them that we sent you. Yeah, yeah. It's you're gonna extreme. get. Yeah, you're gonna get the better service. You get the VIP treatment because they know you're a Tom and Dan listener. It's Don Mealy Sport Subaru Sport Mitsubishi right there on West Colonial Drive, and Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. You want a freestyle, buddy? Come on, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome back to Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. Tom. Samantha Butler and Seth Petrozelli. Mm-hmm. 
all hanging out on a big Friday, first Friday free show of 2021. Let's do dump them out. Oh, God damn, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I should have been ready for that. Uh, right into it. Prepared. I know. You're like, oh, this guy's a goddamn slave driver. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot we got a video. That's right. Oh yeah, yeah. See, this is I'm, I haven't done this in a minute. Uh, we'll I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I think we should all try to make Friday free shows. Uh, yeah. You know, like a yeah, reasonable length. Sometimes we get into two hour and fifty minute uh, shows. Yeah, and extra, done, yeah. Then I'm like too long. No one's got the long. time. Yeah, no. I feel. Uh, I feel like everybody nowadays like there's so much stuff out there. It's like you know. Uh, yeah. Don't do uh, five hours. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah, double amount is wrong. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, oh wait, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> let me try it and, uh, this way. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not gonna work. And oh, yeah. there it is. <laughs> On the list today, it's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby, let's dump them out and play. I wanna see your topics. Ooh, I wanna also see your bottom mix. <laughs> dump them out, brought to you by. Precision doors or what? What is? I was getting excited, then I just saw that one fupa dump out of. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everything was great. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Take them up high, bring them down low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ruin it. Always yeah. got to ruin Always it. Gotta Always got to ruin it. Zoned in real nice, and then that happened. Precision door of Central Florida, 407 710 BDMS. Give them a call. Silent package. Uh, if you need a new door, <laughs> Tom and Dan discount, mm-hmm. 5% new door. Precision door of Central Florida. Indeed. So, uh, okay. Uh, first topic is okay. Samantha. Samantha's Griff Truck. Mm-hmm. So, yes. uh, the time has come. Let's, oh. let's talk about this. Yeah. Um, so, no more Griff Truck, right? No more grifting for me. Bye it, bye, Griff Truck. It's in your uh, garage. It's sitting in my garage. Oh, I'm no. hiding it from the neighborhood. Put it, uh, <laughs> the put, it out, put it like three houses down, right? And okay, walk that. back. I uh, did, didn't talk to you guys about uh, this beforehand. Oh, no. No. Oh, are we going to yeah. talk about it? <laughs> Are we going to talk about your new car? I don't know. The, the <laughs> I don't know. Car. I didn't yeah. talk about it yet. I don't know. It's up to you guys. I don't care. <laughs> new car. <laughs> so Samantha got a new car, and uh, so now the Griff truck is up for grabs. It, well, it's in your garage. And <laughs> you're like, we need to, uh, we need to do something with it. And I'm like, we're gonna, we're gonna do a bit with it. And well, there then, was a BDM hmm? a while ago that reached out to me that said if I ever wanted to sell it to let him know. I don't remember who the hell that was. So if that guy wants to hit me back up, maybe. Mm. I think um, I want to say it's a hunk of shit. I say it's it. not great. Was it's a death trap. John the Alarm Guy <laughs> or Tom Rhodes, <laughs> maybe. Driving it is like driving the nineties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> being awesome. scared it's out of your mind. It's a 2002, mind. sir. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a Ford Ranger. Is it Everything Ford Ranger? is, is it manual. Ranger? It's Ford Ranger. I'm sorry. Like uh, I got roll down win- like manual windows. The yeah. AC yeah. doesn't really work. No, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we take it to. The, 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 yeah. the back window leaks, uh, yeah, yeah. you know. I mean, it's but, it's yeah. not fun. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's now, like, I, I'll throw this yeah. out there. I am in the market, and it is my dream to have an old truck. Mm. I just don't want that one. <laughs> I feel well, like you could fix it up. I mean, you don't want to take it like you take it like that and then put some money into it. And fix my, it. My, my, I don't know if it's worth putting money into, right? My sleeves are telling me we should blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to get money. Uh, oh, let me, I want to rye you it first, please. Let me Could just, we uh, do the midair T bone with it? Uh, yeah, well, that's what my sleeves want. Yeah. They also want me to do a uh, every listener gets a hammer and they get oh. and then oh, they, one they, pay but, for but, a wax. Yeah. Yeah. Let's charity? do ones that don't make sense. Let's do old ones. Let's do shacks leaving Orlando. <laughs> so come down. Let's do. Uh, let's do. Burn your shack. Throwback. Sh- burn your shack jerseys and come down and whack the Griff truck to show Shaquille O'Neal that we're not going to take his bullshit anymore. <laughs> let's do old ones so people think yeah. we're crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we need to find out uh, what we're going to do with it because it's uh, blocking your the inside of your yeah, garage. It takes up way too much space. Yeah. Uh, full transparency. Um, Dan was nice enough uh, to. Offer me um, to have his uh, mother's old buy him car. Up, buy so, my mama car. So I want to, you know, I want to get some money so I can give it to him for that. Uh, 
so I don't want to destroy it. Unless oh, somebody give wants it to Dan. I, oh, I, I, well, yeah. first, I'd rather give it to uh, Dan. Dan doesn't need money. I'd, rich. I'd rather <laughs> blow it up or, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Can oh, there it goes. That's the 90s. Can oh, we Seth chop, it. chop it like Street Fighter? Yeah, yeah, yeah I want Street Fighter. You guys know what I'm talking about? The Street Fighter. Oh, they break up the car and then earn the points. I will totally do that. I'll punch through the window. I'll do it. If the, given a week's time, and how I much put up damage a, could you do? I could, just what I can punch a lot with my hand. This feels nothing right now. <laughs> 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 Hold on, you're worried about your heart and your. I don't care, but that's not going to kill me. I can punch through fucking anything with these two knuckles and it won't hurt at all. I Hold can on. bash through shit. So, how. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if we. If so we much put, damage that you're just like impervious to damage at that point. So, what if we put. Okay, we put the truck in front of your house and we have a webcam. Well, not in front of my. Twitch, I live in Lake Yellow right? Heights. Get the hell out of here. All right. Okay, well, what if we'll we go, go to Castleberry. Okay, what well, if we you. go full <laughs> tank of gas, butler's in the truck, right. naked. Oh, he gets a okay. dollar for as many miles as he can get down the road. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so oh, I what know, I, I have you ever, like a zany Oh, we send Butler to Gary, Indiana. Yeah, in, <laughs> in the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cross country. He's got to go <laughs> oh from. He's got one week to go <laughs> yeah. from Orlando to L.A. Yeah, yeah, with Remy. Switch masks. Okay. Oh, check the COVID uh, yeah, yeah. stats, and then drive back cross country <laughs> with Remy to Orlando. If you don't make it, you fight the midgets. <laughs> <laughs> people watch. Do they? People do will they watch. Really, they would watch. <laughs> Yeah. The embarrassing, Some people shitty part embarrassing is that shit. people would... T- we'd have the they, highest numbers we've ever had, yeah. and that's the shitty, embarrassing part. And, and you guys should all fucking be ashamed of yourselves, because we want better, too. Yeah, but there's 30% <laughs> of our audience that would be like, oh, God, I thought you are better than... Yeah, but they'd still fucking watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they would. Don't fucking lie yeah, to me, dude. Yeah. These are the same people. They'd like judge us, yeah. but they'd still watch. Yes, oh, of course. Oh, Then we'll get a reinsurgence of the people like, I knew you saw it wrong. All the characters come back. Yeah, they're all back. They're like, my horns popped off. Uh, (laughs) so anyway we got to figure out what we're going to do with the griff truck and uh i guess uh we'll you know do you think you could punch it till it doesn't work anymore (laughs) i I could do that Uh, no it starts i could could hammer fist the the front the engine 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 mount like i want you to wheelhouse kick the side mirrors hold on let me hold on hold on this is a fit in that truck yeah, he drove it, remember? Yeah, yeah. He, he originally did. drove he it, it to a mechanic. Oh, yeah. uh, well, he could now because he's skinny now. He's, he's lost he's a He's got to take the seat out like Arnold. <laughs> 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 yeah, what was that? <laughs> That's the Rona. <laughs> Jesus. No, I laughed like Arnold. It's like, ah, you have to take seat down to dive. Ah. <laughs> but seriously, if you think if I put up a $5,000 bet Ooh. that you could, with only your fist, punch the truck until it doesn't what? start anymore. Yes. With the, like the, uh, you couldn't <laughs> open the the uh, the hood or anything. It's just okay. fists. This, yeah, because I could is, bash the hood down, dented enough where I would do. Well, I don't I think look could. at the truck. I don't know how much the space engine. Well, you're not going to go through the is, engine. I think this is but I can hit something on the shell. Fist of fury. Can you beat truck up enough to make truck no work? Yeah, you and I, would, I can. I would open the door I and I would ah, fucking no front thing. kick the steering wheel, and there's a whole column, so you couldn't stick anything in it. I don't know if you break. I'll try to break. <laughs> like you're punching the exhaust pipe. Plastic trying to punch it I'll go under this and, and kick off all the things underneath it. I don't. I'd better watch. I feel like you talking to Seth. It, I feel like I'm, I'm eavesdropping a conversation between two pairs of truck nuts. Like, it, 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 it's like it's the worst thing I've ever heard. Like you guys talking to each other. It's, it's like in the middle. It's know. terrible, and I love every second of it. I actually don't know if you'd be able to punch it. I don't think so it doesn't can. work anymore. I think uh, it's why impossible. Why don't we blow it up with fire? Fireworks from Pyro Spot. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. But the only thing is, I wouldn't get money from it. Well, though. you could do it for charity. Some, someone could bid enough. I don't know. There's something. There's what an if idea. I, okay, if you got what, an idea, send it to what us. If I put my, like what if thing. I put my daughter in there and then, and then I, I pushed it into a lake? <laughs> 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 what happened to Fun Friday? <laughs> I don't know. I just saw <laughs> All right. No, uh, oh, no. Oh, 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 I'm the guy. I'm oh, the guy. I'm oh, the guy. I'm 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 the guy
face is the thing they tell you not to do. And so uh, I was like, uh, they have a horrible name for like in school, and they should change that because well, then like when you in tell, person, in person, it should be in person. Think, but it's called face to face. I think our guys use in person learning. And and but people, I've heard that Crystal put up on her social media like, who else is sending their kid face to face? And I was like, well, that's a bad term. You're making it sound probably worse than it is. And then I was like, I equated to having sex uh, with no condom if that was called blood dog because it oh. makes it sound way worse than this. Right, this is a right. high stand-up bit that I wrote. I believe yeah, I should have shelved that no, one. I like it. Shelved Blood dog. Blood <laughs> <laughs> dog millionaire. That's the name of the fucking show. Blood dog. It has to be. Ross, if you're listening, you can take that. <laughs> and, I will, and I will gift you one <laughs> blood dog. <laughs> I uh, did blood dog last night. And people were like, oh, it's too much too far. Face to face is bad like blood dog. Blood dog is blood dog when she's Right that period. better. Please hold. I'm going to save you because I can't let you go down like that. Let me look. Look. Yep. Right here. Daniel, it's double mount. Hold on, Daniel. Uh, right here. December 16th. Daniel decides to call vaginas pee butts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Taking a little heat off. Here. Oh, um, are we? Gonna, butts. Uh, did Summer send us another voicemail, or is she, yeah. are we going to call her? Okay. Yes. So during ACT this week, and uh, and by the way, if you don't listen to ACT, uh, it, it, it's good. And I don't know why me and Daniel get into these moods like a four. Well, we shit all over it. But uh, the uh, if you haven't listened to ACT, and I've seen a lot of BDMs talk about how they they love ACT recently. So. It's a good show, man. We, we've really hit a stride with it. I'm happy with it. And uh, during ACT, we were talking about game shows. Okay. Then Butler ran mm-hmm. in here with a, you know, um, if you listen to the award show, uh, Butler's Tall Tales. He tells us one almost every week. And he Sometimes ran in here. three times a week, and I love that. It's like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday scenario, and I love it. We were talking, to, interviewing Joey Mazant, a friend of the show. He's yep. talking about how he's been on a bunch of uh, reality shows mm-hmm. and like game, game shows. shows. Then we started talking about game shows. Then Butler screamed from the office, I was on, almost on Double Dare one time, my family. No, he said he made it to the finals. <laughs> oh, yeah, he made it. Family Double Dare. Yes, you're right. He said, I made, he it, said to the he fa- made it to the, the finals. finals of Family Double Dare. Mm-hmm. And so we're like, really? And then so I got in here, and then he sat on the couch, and then he started Telling a story that has family and waited he, in line. He, he spun al- a tail. And he almost made it to the finals of Family Double Dare. Which turns out means he just stood in line. <laughs> but, then, but he said yeah. that they didn't like the way that yeah, their yeah. family's height was angled because mm. it didn't, it would not have, you know, it would have been like, I guess. In the 90s, yeah, it was like early 90s, yeah. They, 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 didn't want, like, they wanted to go like tallest to smallest in right. the family. Yeah. They wanted dad, mom, then all the yeah. kids end up being like. They want their traditional, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. pyramid of, of white privilege going <laughs> down. Right, the, right. You know. so, uh, the, uh, so then we got a call from Summer. Uh, our good friend Summer, who's mm-hmm. been on the show before, mm-hmm. she's uh, really familiar with Universal. Well, she Studios. used to work out there. She used to work for this particular show, mm-hmm. or is out she there. not still working at Universal? Yeah, she does, oh, but okay. just in different capacity because apparently the husband's a-, a big wig. Yeah, this um, area would not like. Here's a here's a message from Summer. Let's see if it plays here. No. Basically, what would happen is you would show up and you would get into a queue line, mm-hmm. and you would take a tour of the studios. We had. Two um, sound stages, <clears throat> excuse me, two sound stages. And we had these things called tour tubes where you'd go up and you'd stand. They had these huge big windows and you'd look down. And if we were taping that day or doing anything like that, you could actually see it happening. And a lot of times at that time, because I started working in the late 90s, a lot of times around that time between like 97 and 2002, we did like figure it out. We did Double Dare 2000. We did... Um, we did a couple other things. There was one called, like, What Would You Do? Mm-hmm. Slime Time Live that. was that. huge. That happened a lot. So you'd go do a tour, <clears throat> and then at the end, if you were the first part of the tour, you would go to this thing called the Gak Kitchen. And in the Gak Kitchen, there was a Gakmeister there, which Mike and I both played, where you, the husband. things of the day, you had to, like, make Gak, and you had to make slime for kids to taste. Mm-hmm. And then you showed them props from some of the big shows, like we had that, Orange yeah, Soda, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cal, we had, like, Binya Binya from Gullicola Island, and all that shit. Okay, hold on, there's more. After that was done, you would go down to the show, and the show was called Game Lab, and you would put the parents on one side, and the kids would go on the other. We had a red and blue team. She's very thorough. And it was run exactly like it 
like a regular format of a Nickelodeon game show. We had different games. The kids got to make fun of the adults. Like we had this Rugrat game where um, the kids would... Well, long story short, what she's saying is that... This one might be here. Let's try this one. It is perfectly... I mean, it is perfectly, like, plausible, I guess, that he did audition for Family Double Dare, but that would have probably been in the early 90s. It was. Um, it was, like, 92, 93. But Are you from sure? what I saw of how they picked their contestants whenever they did um, Double Dare 2000 yes. and Family Double Dare, yes. they were picked from an agency. So, so she is alluding that Butler just rated in the standard line, yeah. the double dare well, it's line. Like, it's like going the, to Universal and they're like, you go to the Fear Factor attraction, and then Butler's <laughs> like, I'm on the show. <laughs> you know what? Get, oh Mama, get Mama Sue on the phone. She will back me I'm up. I'm totally lost in this whole thing. Well, okay. Holy shit, I'm on American Idol. What we're assuming is that Butler thought he, he remembered that him and his family almost got on the actual game show <laughs> Double he Dare. And he was, he was doing. He did the attraction. It would, that everybody do. It'd be oh. like if he went into Universal's Twister oh, and he yeah, came yeah, out. He's like, yeah. "Holy shit! No, I was in, tornadoes in there, bro!" I was in the movie Twister. <laughs> I was in the movie Twister. Yeah. <laughs> or when you rode the the bee for Honey and showed the kids back yeah, in the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Like I was in her. That's I was almost Disney. in Honey. Wait, no, I wasn't. Uh, yeah. uh, Christine, our resident pregnant lady, who's been pregnant and in labor for the last three days, she says this is just like Butler seeing David Copperfield at Bush Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is what we forgot. That yeah. was not on the list. That's we right. fucked up You're our right. own award You're show. Right. You're right. He's yeah. He's this, uh, swore he saw David Copperfield in Bush Gardens, and it was just an actor, and there was a show. It was like I saw. I was in when they were filming Indiana Jones. <laughs> but you know, You're the stunt show. Yeah. Right. I'm texting mom and dad right now. I'm oh. fucking answer. Oh. They're gonna finally tell you the truth, Butler, and you're not gonna be yes. happy about it. I got a resounding yes. Uh, it was Maybe fa- they were confused. It was a family double day yeah. audition in 19. It was like 92 or 93. Is right when the parks oh, yeah, opened. Okay. You know, it's, uh, Why would he lie about something so <laughs> stupid, though? <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a Seth, shit? We're, really? we're, we're all... We're, I wonder it every day. <laughs> all right. Um, all right um, Unlimited money. Oh, oh. Uh, the, you guys heard that... Uh, um, uh, Elon Musk became the richest yeah. man in the world yeah. over Bezos. Congrats. And that was because Bezos divorced, right? We were yeah, talking about that. I would that, imagine right? so. Like yeah. he, he would probably still be if he well, didn't have to. I think when she got half. the divorce, I think she became the eighth most wealthy woman in the world. Yeah. You had to just get, based yeah. on getting, like, you know, a settlement. Or So I was talking with Butler, and we were talking, and then, like, apparently the Powerball's uh, super high right now. Like, uh, and if you had unlimited money, because the power, like, obviously, we're talking about, I don't know, the 130. Thirty-five billion, and then a Powerball is like hundreds of million. But if someone gave you a hundred million dollars, it's basically unlimited money, right? Sure. I mean, yes, I guess you could buy two things worth fifty million and be broke, but it's rare. To, you know, it's unlimited. I could see me doing that. No. Could you fifty fifty million dollar house, fifty million dollar yacht? <laughs> Oops. Andrew's like, where is it? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We need money to yeah. maintain, maintain, the, maintain I can't afford the lights. And, and if you really deep down think about it. Could you have the discipline, going back to the discipline, to not let it ruin your lives, the people no. around you's I lives? Or the, do, do you think? No yeah, you, because I'm frugal as hell. Yeah, but naturally over time it would just ruin your life. Yeah, yeah I don't believe that. Yeah, I mean, some people think, I mean, here's the I'm not going to say. I think it, I think it ruins I, everybody to a degree. I don't know if I'd have the discipline to take to do what it takes to not let it. Because even then, because now if everybody knew you had $100 million, oh, all of a sudden. Don't tell anybody. Friends and family's relationships well, it's weird. Out, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some, I mean. I mean. Are you able to then be. Then you would literally have to win it keep anonymity winning it and yeah. then you could not tell anybody or then you yeah, keep yeah. your same lifestyle then what's the yeah. point of even having the you're yeah. like you're gonna drive in the grift yeah, truck yeah, with yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. million. No, you moderately yeah, make it better to the public but then you come in then, here you're, yeah. everything's the same well, then that regular life and like, then you're like, like literally better. just be a cold hearted like, bitch and be like fuck you get uh, like you're working here you're worth 400 million dollars and you're like it's yeah. like 330 and I look at my watch I'm like I don't know we got more to do you better get in here you're like you'll be like fuck you motherfucker why am I here 
fuck, there. Yeah, fuck you, short fry. Get the uh, fuck out of here. I'm four in a million dollar bitch. Yeah, now, fuck you. You start beating me up. I hope you would. Yeah, but yeah, punching yeah. me in the face. I, yeah, I'm just saying. I just I don't know if uh, it, like I, I if you seriously looked at it, and then we'll move on from this. But like, and we're honest with yourself. I think uh, it would ruin most people and uh, mm. and ruin your oh, kids. Oh, Andrea and reminded me there is a rule in Florida that you cannot stay anonymous when well, you win. That's fucked up. Yeah, really? Yeah, that's in other states you can, but hey, Florida's fun. Why? Isn't it? Because they want you to ruin yeah, your life. We want to know who gets the money. The swap yeah, We want to ruin your life. <laughs> We're like, who's rich? Who got the money? Get the airboat. <laughs> yeah. Get it! <laughs> yeah, let's take that. Um, all right, uh, pee training. What oh, yeah, pee, pee training. This is really, really quick. If you want to train your pee, like, I'm, I'm on new medication that's decreased my uh, pee stream a little bit. Mm-hmm. This is good for I, you, Seth. That's the opposite of my problem I've been having. <laughs> so you need to put on, what I like to <laughs> do is I put my headphones on <laughs> before I have to pee, and I put on any song by the uh, hardcore band Hatebreed, and I pee, I push as hard as I can during Hatebreed song. <laughs> <laughs> well, can it get better? Can... Uh, it's not. It's getting worse. <laughs> is is it always... I have literally been pissing my pants <laughs> every morning. What if you massage your prostate? <sighs> what if I, I don't do know it? if that works. I uh, think it does. How do I do it? Shiatsu or the, Swedish? The, it's, <clears> or, have you touched which that? Which one is this? Seth, which one is this? Have I touched what? My prostate? Yeah. Like my With a my stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure I have. I don't know. <laughs> I, haven't done, I haven't done it on purpose, With but I've got a but, Yeah, but I'm saying, like, I don't, uh, you could theoretically just reach your finger up there and rub it, right? Or touch it? Yeah. Like a, a doctor does Milk it. In the prostate. I don't think my fingers are long enough Better to make touch it two my fingers. No, it's over the doctor. No, is. You can do it. No. I, my, I, have a lo- my, I have a long butthole, <laughs> so I have to go to E.T. <laughs> 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 it's a, there's Ouch. nothing that can make it better. Idiot. God. That, you know, <clears throat> how do you shrink that? Do I need it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if it's gone? What do they take my uh, prostate? I think you're, you're gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, you. there's no, people, people who get their prostate. Yeah. Can you get an artificial prostate? I don't know any of this. Like a pump? I don't know. Like I'm, a little, what's it? It looks like a little piece of so broccoli. So if you, right? they take out your prostate, you do have no control over your pee-pee anymore? Yeah, you're just literally... You're looking you're at just... me like you want an answer? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on, Doug. <laughs> you know what? That's very unbutler butler like because normally you give yeah. an answer. Yeah, you normally you're like, 1,000% like, boss yeah. back in. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, because... Uh, Gotta uh, pick my battles, man. I think, <laughs> I think there's a lot He's of people... feeling bad about that double dare line. <laughs> get their prostate removed, I and I I never hear them. It just goes in the I think he just goes through, like, once it gets go, it just drips into a bag. You don't feel anything. No, no, I don't you have to put a bag on? Yeah. No, I just no you don't. In a, in a, a in a, I'd like to put my penis in a small trash bag and then put a rubber band around it. Uh, <laughs> that's essentially what the bag is. And then I was like, no, I, but I don't want to. No, I'm going to do a little more natural style. I don't need to. The bag tubes. has a I don't catheter. Want, yeah, I don't want a catheter. I want to do it right out of my dick hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to put a, I don't know, a yeah. tube on it. And <laughs> Gatorade then, bottle. Yeah, and then put like a, a seek. What are those? Those clamps you, you yeah, tighten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like your pool equipment. Yeah, no, like the ones I use when I'm doing. Doing like hoses on a, a scooter when yeah, I'm running yeah, fuel yeah, lines yeah, and shit. A clamp, like, yeah, 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 like a metal clamp. That you tight out clamp. Yeah, oh, that's a little tight. So I back out, and then I give it like a three quarter turn to tighten it. You got to tighten it during the day to loosen up. You know, depending on when you relax or you know time of day heats up. But I think that would be better than a catheter. What's editing karaoke lyrics? Oh, my wife. I can't sing karaoke with my wife. She's so much of a nerd that when she reads the lyrics off of the goddamn YouTube and we're just trying to sing karaoke lyrics, she starts uh, correcting all of the grammar and all the fucking songs. Uh, what do you mean? That's weird. Like, 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 I forget what song it was. Like, it was like, I don't know. So it was like Songs a, don't make sense. Like that Chris Stapleton... Um, Starting over, or le- like that. Like, I'm singing the song, and she's just reading the lyrics, and it's like a lot of like, you give me my. It's like country song, it's but it's like a lot of like, yip, dip, dip, and she's correcting it and like pausing the song. It's like, nah, that's wrong, that's incorrect. Come on, homeboy. Yeah. Should be part of the exactly. <laughs> but I'm like, it's the wrong tense, and she was ruining karaoke night, Dennis mm-hmm. Family Karaoke Night. My daughter got that James Corden, um. I've never beautiful. done karaoke night. The before. carpool karaoke. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah. It's great. You you Bluetooth it to your phone, and then you Bluetooth your phone to a Bluetooth speaker, and then mm. you can use. It's like a Mister Microphone, like an updated Mister Microphone. It's That's got echo cool. on it. Yeah, and it's it's awesome. Like it's really really fun. Uh-huh. And so you just pull up YouTube karaoke and you sing. So Maisie loves singing. So we've been doing some singing. Daddy likes singing, and uh, Mama has no fun to sing with. She corrects all the fucking. She's doing. <laughs> she's hacking and slashing. You know, like with her grease pencil. 
There's uh, there's one giant flaw with the Van family karaoke night, uh, which is the fact that uh, we can't read uh, most. Of oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> and then so like me, I'm like, like, can Maisie read the words? No, 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 oh, okay. absolutely not. I got but, scared. I, mean, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> no, I mean like like she just knows them from from memory, but yeah, oh, she okay. can read like if and of and the and you know the normal sight words that kids her age. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so. What's New Year's Eve? I think I already told that one, but just uh, real quickly. um, Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, become a BDM, and you can hear that one. That's Mm. uh, and I did, I did the other one. Yeah, I think think we burned them all. That's great. Uh, 2021. We've never done that. We have yet to burn through all dump them out. I think we finally did it this time. But yeah, I had really bad sex on New Year's (laughs) Eve that you can hear about on the BDM show. So, um, semantics. Uh, I yeah. know that uh, you've announced that you've changed the scheduling. Yeah. So, instead of doing uh, one show a week, we're going to start doing one every other week starting 2021. Nice. Just to give some more time for me and my husband to actually, uh, you know, enjoy our weekends because yeah. all we do is work. Mm-hmm. Um, Good call. And this week, we are going to have, from the Semantics Fantasy Football League, the commissioner, Jesse Madonna, as well as the champion, Josh Lund. Oh, really? And we'll be recording tomorrow, Saturday. Um, man, and I'm on vacation next week, so have fun, boys. Wahoo. Um, I know things are. Uh, <laughs> every time you're on vacation, <laughs> there's, there's the I've role. made. I've made. We're uh, like, who's here? <laughs> I looked at the calendar. Like, what is the agenda for you guys? And it is slam fucking packed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all are <laughs> fucked. It's Butler's producer. Oh, right? oh yeah. I love um, it. Double Seth. dare for everyone. <laughs> yes, so, uh, how close is your gem to being done? It's, oh. suppo- it's supposed to have been done a week ago. Like, that oh. was my goal from the beginning. Oh. 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 Well, what happened? It's just permitting is the, the, the worst. The absolute I worst mean, of the worst. It's, dojo, more like a slow Joe, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, I'd argue with you you need. Don't kick me. <laughs> I had it. I had. I. I got rid of. I deleted one bathroom. Had to upgrade another bathroom to ADA compliance. Once I did that, mm-hmm. it opened a whole can of worms to add a mop sink. Dude, make you sure the plumbing. Worms in your bathroom. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Uh, it was just. It's. Just, it was a lot. A it, mop t- sink. It, it took me. Uh, it took me a, mo- a six weeks just to go back and forth with the city to finally me have to talk to the head guy in charge of permitting. I think I talked about this already about about having one bathroom. They wanted me to have two. Oh. I was like, there's no, there's no room for it. This is absolute overkill. It's pointless. Like, in, tell them it's men yeah. only, bro, Joe. Yeah. Is there? I was always playing the other way. There's like, got to be yeah. some sort of bribery with these people, right? Like, yeah. uh, it's it helped that they knew once they. I, I pulled the do you know I didn't say do you know who I am mm. but when I sent the emails you know I, how I am I explained who I was and, and you know and this and that I even threw in I'm actually <laughs> where I'm you? a podcast guy oh, <laughs> oh god, god. Oh, but, you did the no, no. but they knew who I, what, once he me heard no said, drunky he, bear <laughs> me no little man he was a fan of MMA <laughs> and knew I me was. no midget me no drunk <laughs> 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 me no tall me no dumb <laughs> me no guys <laughs> me read news so he's an me a girlfriend me pee on floor <laughs> pretty much. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, and then, uh, and then I finally then they... got approved. Now I just got I got all my rough ins done, my mechanical, my plumbing, my electric, my framing, all that. Literally just got passed yesterday, uh, throughout this past week. So now I can start drywalling, tie walling, putting fixtures up, and I'm gonna get on that for like that stuff. I was waiting for. It's literally been sitting. Waiting for these permits to get to get. Uh, Are pulled. you gonna have the wooden pole with the sticks out of that? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna have the stick pole? Are you talking about the dummy, a dummy that you hit, or the no, ones no. that d- d- display my bows? No, no, just like no, one pole with yeah, it's like, it. Looks like a, it looks like a boring tiki pole, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. then off of it are little. <laughs> that's, a, that's a practice dummy. Yeah, it's oh, a wing dummy. That's oh. a Wing Chun Wing dummy. Okay, no a Wing Chang Wong dummy. That sounds racist. <laughs> yeah, no, no it's racist as you thinking that that was Japanese. That's, actually, that's actually Chinese, oh. and it's in Kung Fu Studios, not Japanese Karate Studios. Oh, okay. What else are you gonna have in there? Gonna yeah, you're gonna have a I'm gonna have a I'm getting a, a traditional toady, uh, which is a, a Shinto shrine as an entrance. Cool. Like legit huge done the specific color red that they're done in Japan uh, as in the entrance way to the dojo. It's gonna be bad. Where do you it's get that from? Co- We're hand building it. Me and a couple students. All right, that'll be that fun. Then I'll have a story behind it too. Yeah, yeah. actually, not Is more my student than me. I'm helping a little. Bit. <laughs> okay, so oh, it's dad. Like your dad's <laughs> no, 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 my dad. Oh, this guy named Joe. He's a like great a guy. Joe. So you're hiring a guy that a 75 year old student you have? <laughs> yeah, oh my god! Don't let the old man. <laughs> he <laughs> asked me. He asked to do help. Build this, this is elderly. He's like, he's like, I can help. I can help. I'm like, uh, Ed, it's okay. Don't worry about it. He wants to come hang drywall. I'm like, Ed, don't be doing Is your girlfriend gonna be there? 
<laughs> I'm just saying. Because if I were 75 years old, yeah. I joined his karate yeah. studio. Then hey, miraculously, his girlfriend comes away as a student. I'd, I'm just saying, I'd be a little more motivated. I mean, my girlfriend is a student. Punch. So. If that helps sell memberships, come see me. I'll, I'll make her wear sports bra or that gi every single time. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come, Tracy, you're doing that. Hey, right? come okay. to my karate dojo. Pimping out his girlfriend. Watch my girlfriend pee pee in the bed. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I, didn't, I didn't say that. But you can't watch her do high kicks. Do you like karate? <laughs> do you like old men watching my girlfriend pants in the bathroom, are, brother? Are you? God, I was at the worst advertiser for my sensei? fucking gym. <laughs> no, no. This is bullshit. No, are you? What do you mean am I a head sensei? Yeah, okay. in that dojo, yes, but I have my sensei. What is- who, Daichi, so my, my buddy's father is my Shion, so that's my sensei, my instructor. He's, okay, he lives Shion. in Cape Coral. He, he comes <laughs> once every three, four months for testing. He tests everybody. Does he look more like a traditional sensei? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I kind of like an old, an old Charlie Daniel, an old white Irish guy. <laughs> okay, old, old I don't white know. Irish. You know, just like you know, that I think karate. I want to walk. No, no, no. You I, know, I, you're thinking out of shape. Fat. I no, he's, not, he's not that guy. I wanted to look like the old man from Pawn Stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, so when do you think it's going to open up and can people sign up now? How much? Money yeah, of course. I'm tra- I'm still teaching out of the out of the jungle. Like I've been going for two years out of the jungle okay. in the back of the jungle. Yeah, we've had a had it's uh, so, great. So it's already going. You're it's already going. Oh no, okay. yeah, and I'm I'm signing up. You know, doing great on signups. The majority of people right now are in their. Twenties, but I have lots of thirties and forty year olds, and then of course some sixty and one seven year old. And I'm starting once we move to the new location. I'm starting uh, kids as well, five to thirteen is my kids class, and I'm thinking I'm pushing for. I'm really trying for February first. I'm really trying. So, but I'm realistically maybe the first week or second week of February. Cool. February first is my my push date. I'm gonna bust ass to get it done. I need to get Max in there because yeah. uh, uh, we got Max uh, one of those. Punching balls that are on a stick oh, is with like a spring at the end. Spring? Yeah, yeah, spring punching ball. Always punch it. Punch it. Did it come back going and smack him like old school? <laughs> no, no. He's a, he punched it fast. And oh, he's good. like jab, jab. Oh, that's and, cute. Yeah, then he's like, I like boxing. Punching it. Then Tommy starts dancing by him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's a he dancing. <laughs> my, my, my wife is my wife's videotaping Max, and he's like, dish, 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 and then like doing like a Floyd Mayweather thing, and then Tommy Skelton dances by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what there, the? that's my son. Yeah, you gotta have yeah, a little bit like of a scarecrow. scarecrow you should dance. show him Rocky. Mm, no, I know, I know. Oh, I don't know what. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not appropriate. I, I could send him a really cool old '80s Japanese uh, documentary on old school karate. It's really bad. But he's like me. Do you, does he have to I learn like all the bowing and the respect yeah, part? He just oh, that's part. To, do you want him to grow up with some discipline and willpower? Oh, wow. We just went for a surf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, we really did. He it. just wants to punch. <laughs> like, that, he's gonna he can forward. do that. He's going to punch a lot, but he's going to learn how to punch properly and focus that punch. So when he punches, it's the kill. Wow. Wow. Right. <laughs> but can damn. he do it right when he gets there? Because he's gonna be bored. I know. My <laughs> oh, he's gonna be bored. I'm making yeah, like, bored. He, like, he, he gets up there. He's like, okay, the bow. He wants to chop the boards, punch. I'll make him do that. I'm not gonna be a, an American style dance karate studio. Well, they haven't do that a lot. This is more. Hard. Can I have oh, I'm gonna beat his leg with a shinai. Because I'm I'm paying for it. What's dance karate? So, where they run in circles? No, like, it's the American <laughs> karate where they do it to music and they do all this acrobatics and it's not actual stuff that'll. Gotcha. Be working uh, on fuck. Uh, I'm not really okay. talking crap about other karate. No, no, they I can do what they want. Saying. If they want to make money and do that, then go for it. But it just other gives other karate bad name. So um, don't let my wife throw her parents. She's like, it's okay for kids to be bored. Don't let my wife throw her fucking uh, fuck- oh, okay. <laughs> parenting advice <laughs> in the fucking. I'm gonna start my own. Uh, I don't know. I mean, her kid's I, doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, like, is she? I don't know. All I do is get bullied. <laughs> like, what if I open up a dojo next to Seth's? Right, and mine What's it called focus- Slow Joe. <laughs> No, but I have a bunch of boards, and the first day, everybody... Why don't you just call yours kicking boards? <laughs> yeah. And then it's literally first day you come in, and they're like, kick this board. Dude, that's and, a liability. And so all, all you do is the fun hey, parts of karate. It's either being bored or kicking boards. <laughs> You're chilling. Yeah, I don't want to... You go in there, and it's like, uh, first, we're going to learn how to relax. I'm like, oh, God! Yeah. Right, right. Close your eyes, <laughs> bow, yeah, to yeah, the, yeah. bow to some uh, false yeah. flag. Yeah, yeah, you're like, so focus, <laughs> focus on it's the energy. You're, you're just showing respect to the showman now or lick the lick your founders. sensei's toes. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to, like, focus on the energy. I'm like, just give me the board. I want to jump in an app. No, you, but he's going to have to learn all of his katas, right? Like oh, yeah. his forms. All his forms, all his kion, which is the basic uh, techniques. Yeah. So you don't want to do techniques. that part. Techniques. <laughs> all right. 
Um, but if you want interest, uh, oh, yeah. uh, can I give my uh, Karate of Orlando dot com mm-hmm. is where you, you can go to that. And actually, guys, I've got a whole surge of I don't know why uh, BDM's asking about the diet, and I've sent uh, information, and a lot of them are it's still New Year's. So, yeah. Everybody's oh, trying. Yeah, to... duh, well, I didn't think yeah, about. Yeah, I have a guy that just emailed me. He started in July. I think that's when I first started it. Yeah, and he's lost sixty five, close to seventy pounds. Yeah, we have a list so, there that hit me up. That's done. Might be the same guy. It was an older email, but he'd lost forty five pounds. Oh, that's awesome. Because yeah. of so, the diet. so if you guys want information, you can always find me on Instagram at Silverbacks. Seth, and you can message me, and I can send you information about that. There you cool. go. Cool. Awesome. All right. Anything else? Um, I think that's it. Oh, if you want to be a part of our texting service, um, just 844-866-6326. Text BDM. Just the letters BDM to that. It'll auto-text you back saying you're in. And then once you're in, you'll get texts from us. Uh, like, in, We got a new hat coming out in uh, about a week and a mm-hmm. half. We'll text you guys. Uh, obviously, it'll be on the BDM page, too, but uh, it's uh, Daniel designed it, and I think it's going to be pretty popular. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Gonna and if be you have cool. ideas for this grift truck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, email yeah, because yeah. I got to get rid of this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll we'll work on that next. Can we week. drop it out of a plane? <laughs> Quill yeah. just throw shit at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. Your, and own, then your own what? shit. Your own human drive by. Uh, what if we drive by, drive our, by shitting? What yeah. if we had all of our listeners drive to a, a location and bring their own shit yes. and put it in a bag Dude. in it? I'll and then sponsor we go this park event. it somewhere. <laughs> I'll hundred percent sponsor. We could do I know a, a uh, fishing for scumbags again and put it on Craigslist and let Tom handle it. Oh, do well, the now we're getting too close. To <laughs> then, then the next thing you know, we're fucking impractical jokers. I'm talking to him. He's doing a deal. And I got the earpiece in. I'm like, ah, I'll start barking like a dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm <laughs> stupid. I pinch your I penis s- and try to fart. I <laughs> sold. I sold a broken down old truck before, and it's all calls from Kissimmee for whatever reason. Oh yeah, everybody from Kissimmee wants it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You live in Kissimmee, you like broken down trucks. <laughs> the home's in. Anyway, I don't like driving a car either. <laughs> All right. Uh, stop! Oh, 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 wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. And now it's time for the Tom and Dan end of the show footnotes. Today you heard music from Cal Pay. Friend of the show, Mark Larabelle and his band are back with more hard-hitting and creative rock and roll. And as of this morning, you can find this new single circulating all the old music streaming platforms you heard Cal Pay and their latest entitled Death Rattle. Go support these extremely kind and talented individuals. We've played these cats before, but if you happen to be new to them, and if you're looking for a classic or easing into the weekend sound, then look no further. You have found it. From what I believe is their newest studio album, you heard The Agro Lights and their song, Love Me Tonight. The band Come Closer was up next with a new single that surely did not disappoint. In the form of my pick of the week, you heard the track Get It Wrong, and man, this track absolutely makes me feel like I'm back in St. Augustine at Flagler College, back in the dorms. We closed out the day with new music from The Luca State. Now, I love how the rhythm section just finds a, a way to kind of grind it out and build. And the entire band comes in. And again, this is a single, so I can only assume that we're going to get more and more great music in the months to come. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you Monday for BDM Shows. Shows.